Hello, everyone, and oh, welcome music? to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> We're back Dungeons and Dragons! Yes. Uh, before we get into tonight's episode, we do have some announcements to get through, beginning with the first of two sponsors uh, NordVPN. Sam? Matt, you rat bastard, don't even try it! Or should I use your evil hacksaw username, Ultra Codex? You data fragged Travis. My husband is frozen in stasis. Oh no. Travis, can you hear me, baby? Oh. And you wreaked havoc on one of our favorite sponsors, NordVPN, providers of highest quality data encryption for your internet traffic, and it hides your IP and physical location. And it's NordVPN's birthday. What are your demands, you motherboard monster? Don't you see? It's these ridiculous <laughs> NordVPN ads. <laughs> Three minutes of endless Sam and Laura, Sam and Laura. I can't take it. Wait, wait. You just want us? You you just want us, leak code monkeys, to stop doing ads for NordVPN? No. I want to do them myself. The power of the Nordverse shouldn't be in your noob keystrokes. It should lie within. The Ultra Codex! What? No, our sponsor would never hire such an unhinged spokesman. Well, they hired you, didn't they? Oh, ice cold. Bye! Ice cold. If I can't control the Nordiverse, then I shall defrag all of NordVPN! You'll have to <laughs> brute force through us, Johnny Mnemonic. Are you challenging me to a hack-off? But there's two of you and only one of me. You don't stand a check. Oh, we'll see about that, you rootkit rat! Kryptonic override! Time to... Wait, no, that's not it. Where is it? Jack in! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Affirmation, Black Willow 69. Firewall up. He's going down. You know what you have in common with pizza and bread? You're much better sliced! Oh! The hack off! <laughs> He's on. Oh. on. I need to... <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? To... There what, is is that? Oh. what is that? What is that thing? Oh no! Black what? Willow, he's he's drowning me in spectral pixel code. I'm going monochromatic. What? No! Uh, uh, try techno lusting his universal soldier. I did, but he just bander snatched my jumping jack flash drive. What's wrong? Can't handle a simple eeny meeny Bieber rhythm attack. Uh. Stay with me, Kryptonic! I can't, I can't. There's just too many of them. He's slicing me! No! Negatoid, you fragged my partner, the only woman I've ever loved! Wait, what? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Travis, you're still frozen, right? Cool, cool. Anyway, back to the hack! It's over, Black Willow, or should I say, Whack pillow! Terrible. I pwn your friends, and I'm about to gleam your cube as well! Okay. After all, I already know your master password. No, no, not. Swordfish. Damn it! It's always swordfish. Damn it. <laughs> One crypto kick, and you'll drop faster than GameStop stock! Any last words? Yes, I have last words. For NordVPN's birthday, every purchase of a two-year plan will get you one additional month free and a surprise gift. Go to https, seriously, slash slash nordvpn.com slash critical role and use code critical role. Protect yourself from cyber attacks and avoid bandwidth issues with NordVPN. And thanks for continuing their support of our show. Matt, we'll continue this next time. Back to you. It had to be this terrible helmet. It's the best <laughs> helmet. Oh, it's the worst. <sighs> Thank you, Sam. It just takes away. Thank you, NordVPN. I heard none of that. <laughs> yeah, it's just no neck <laughs> movement. Yeah, it's just like full, full, full yeah. Michael yeah. Keaton Batman. No. Yes. Just yep. Yep. <laughs> right eyeball coming through. Yeah, I liked how you to see had to like turn the entire <laughs> yes. axis of yeah. the helmet. Yeah. The character Don't choices are really Trent interesting. Why <laughs> <laughs> every time? Not the way I read it. Wrote it, but interesting. Thank you, Sam. Uh, and big thank you to our friends at D and D Beyond. Oh, oh the, the other thing that you guys don't oh. know—they're going to do uh, special effects in post that'll make it look like. Well, I won't. I, I can spoil it. It's going to make it look like she turns black and white. I, really? Yeah. Kyle, is that true? I think so. Yeah. All right. Whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> Which so means it already not... happened, and now we're just talking yeah. about it after the yeah. fact. Well, yeah. Then we, yeah. we didn't know. Yeah. 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 Funny. Weird. Already knows. We're, we're the last to know. Literally. Real weird. I also <laughs> love that it's turning into a love story. <laughs> well, yes. this is goes deep. <laughs> yeah, it needed well. something. It, yeah, it needed a little. Every yeah, blockbuster has to have that yeah. long story. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're all we're all knee deep in that Nord lore. <laughs> oh, uh, Nord lore. <laughs> Nord. <laughs> And thank you, D and D Beyond, the official tool set of our show. Just knee deep in that Nord lore. Yeah. Can we connect to the I'm a Nord lore whore, guys. The world Nord lore. Oh boy. Until the end of February, subscribers get a free set of cool digital dice called the Everlasting Rhyme Dice Set. Check it out at dndbeyond.com. Uh, you right there? Yeah, we're good. It's so Bob blah blogs law blog. blog. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we have actually teamed up with BlizzCon Line 2021 for a special one shot. Yeah, we did. Uh, I'll be running a game inspired by Diablo. Yeah, you will. With yeah. players Laura Bailey, Liam O'Brien, uh. and special guests Mika Burton, and Carlos Ooh. Luna, and my wife Marcia Ray right there. Uh, this one shot airs this Saturday, February 20th at 2.05, specifically, <laughs> Pacific, at BlizzCon.com as part of the BlizzCon uh, experience and celebration. Uh, so learn more about BlizzCon Line's jam-packed schedule by visiting BlizzCon.com or via their Twitter feed at Blizzard uh, underscore int, E-N-T. Is it? Online. Yeah, BlizzCon. Not live. BlizzCon Live. BlizzCon Live. Yeah. Oh, oh, I get it. Online. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. So everything's online, online now. Some lead hacks or you are. <laughs> and, yeah. He plays. He, he plays one on TV. <laughs> Liam. Uh, but yeah. So check it out. Super excited. We had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, Marisha, you got announcements. I do. Oh my goodness. Get ready for a new episode of A Critter Hug Woo! with our hosts, Matthew Mercer and yeah. lovely Mika Burton. You all know them. You all love them. They're spotlighting awesome folks and projects in the tabletop community. And the new episode airs this Tuesday, February 23rd at 4 p.m. Pacific on Twitch, and then of course the VOD on February 25th, because that's how our VODs have always worked. And then, <laughs> in case you missed it, our second episode of Crit Recap Animated is now on YouTube. This episode, yeah, dives into the first story arc of the Mighty Nine campaign. It's super cute. Cool. Go watch it if you haven't. With narration by our lore keeper, Danny Carr, animation by Off World Studios, and writing by Danny, Kyle, and me. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. It's great. Go watch it. There you go. Get a refresher. Listen. Now it's moving into aggressive. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Aggressive. Uh, She's good at that. Watch it. <laughs> okay. Uh, quickly, we're also going over to Laura for the uh, last bit of our announcements. Oh, hi. I am telling you about this. Hey. Yeah. Uh, hey. Uh, yeah. You me. Oh, hello. Long hey. Sleeve oh, footage. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Sleeve. Yes, sure. and oh, and wait, and also the you have the other shirt. Nope. Do 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 Both of these shirts are designed by <laughs> Brian Weiss. You may recognize yeah. the designs, but now there are new things, and they're in our U.S. store right now, nice. coming soon to other stores. Do ta. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, we have. <gasps> what is it? Our Renu, a <gasps> Scanlan die set. <gasps> I just showed them to purple Sam. Purple baggies. They're really yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're purple baggies, and then the inside has the hot pink. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Because Scanlan. And they're so shiny. They're so the shiny and kind of trolly at the they're same purple time. And magic. Pink and they're are so they nice. sparkly? Yeah. They. Oh, 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 oh. And these are, these are everywhere right now in all our stores, including our new Canadian store. Oh. Blue Canada. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. Oh, I should say that's canada.critroll.com. Canada.critroll.com? That's what it says okay. on, this, on the sure. page, Sam. Okay. I trust. <laughs> I trust. Well, I Canada believe... Canada before crit roll. <laughs> exactly. I believe that brings us to the end of our announcements, and as such, let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode oh, of boy. Critical Role. <laughs> Be 
you, your nerdy best friends And the DM to guide you And they rise from the flames for the battles ahead Villains beware cause you're about to be dead They got magic and flair They got falchions and cunning They don't see over there There's a monster and coming Inspiration is waiting Rise up, don't think twice Put your fate in your hands Take a chance, roll the dice Welcome back. That was terrible. You yeah. guys just that was too much. Stop too much. giving a shit over the time we've been doing this. Ah, <clears throat> last we left off, the Mighty Nine, after making their way across Isil Cross, encountering and fleeing from the Tomb Takers, meeting up with their old companion, in quotes, Essek, and discussing the possibility of delving into Aor's ruins specifically. After deciding to take some time with the brief respite you have after sending the Tomb Takers seeking another alternative to the threshold crest that they had lost, you made your way towards uh, Yusa. You went ahead and looked into some possibilities of how to prepare for this, acquired some, some friends uh, to help you, to provide some options, some items, spoke with Halas, shunted Halas, uh, went and visited Kima and Alora over in Amman and let them know what you were going to be attempting. In doing so, you were also provided with some aid from their end, um, as well as some items loaned. One was offered, one was surprisingly convinced to temporarily lend a, a very powerful item. Um, if only we could find a way to use it. <laughs> um, but you returned to Rexendrum, and after hearing a little bit of the current murmurs politically between the Cobalt Soul and other aspects of the Empire realize that beyond just the tension building an ISIL cross, things are a bit tense here at home, even in the, the aftermath of the peace treaty that was signed. After gathering yourselves for an evening's rest after a very long day of hopping ar literally around Exandria, you went after uh, acquiring a chamber within the Rexxentrum Archive to rest, lay down and a few of you were visited by curious dreams. Uh, Caduceus with an odd vision regarding what appeared to be something similar to the grove where he grew up. Yasha with a unique encounter with the Stormlord, of which it had been some time. And Caleb and Beauregard, who had a second evening encounter with some leering, Red eyes, welcoming you to whatever odd dream state connection you currently harbor with them. You fucking dicks. And so, with that, a day of rest is completed, a morning greets you, you are absolved of whatever remaining lingering exhaustion points you may have carried, you are healed, but for <clears throat> some of you, not the most restful, Evening of sleep. As you all begin to gather your things, what would you like to do? Well, I think after a night like that, the first thing I want to do is uh, strip naked in front of a mirror. Yeah, I, I find Caleb and kind of do the same thing. I start subtly like pulling up sleeves. <clears throat> is there anything on my backside? Uh. Lift up his shirt like I'm looking for ticks. Anything? Are y'all alone or are we in the back eating popcorn for this? I was like, yeah, I, kind of I would think totally be here room. for support. I think we only got two rooms between them, the two of us, so probably yeah, in the, front of people. A few of you are seeing this. It isn't like so a. We're in the corner. In the corner being weird. <laughs> Frantically searching each other for ticks. It's a, mm -hmm. a thing. Um, with a brief investigation of Caleb, you see what looks to be a second <laughs> red eye 
has apparated in kind of the center of the shoulder blades in the back. I just tap on it. Turn around, let me see your neck. Uh, you look where the tattoo that she acquired from Orly is, and right square in the center of the tattoo where the previous eye was, you see a glowing red eye has appeared. Oh no! Separate, separate locations for them. Right, not like in between his scapula shoulder blades. Yeah, but her is different locations. Bit in the back of my neck. Yeah, just like the first were in different places. As well. Shoulder for you, in between your shoulder blades, back of your neck, and where? Hand and yeah. my hand. <gasps> so you each have two now. Yeah. Are are the are there pupils? Are there color? Are they just, colored? Just a solid red. All of them are the same color. All of them the same color. Of red. Okay. How does it go with the green, with the emerald? Is it? I mean, it's kind of nice. It's yeah, festive. It's yeah, festive. Yeah. yeah. Complimentary color. Winter's Crest, yeah. yeah. Mm. Boy. Mm. Do we feel any different? Make a perception check. Mm. I'm in Google Docs. Nope. Nope. You can't say Google. Oh shit, I said it! <laughs> 16. <laughs> Same as it ever was. <laughs> we ain't learned shit. Nope. In, the, in the midst of all this chaos and tension, you take a moment to just check in with yourself and kind of quietly breathe and feel and, and gauge where you sit physically, emotionally. You don't sense any different. Nothing seems to be shifted, elevated, diminished, beyond just the trail of adrenaline that's still pumping through your system post-discovery this morning. A lot of screaming. Yeah. More talk of dreams and what we can craft from them. Did you get that? Shit. Fuck. I... It's not every night. <clears throat> no. But a uh, ticking clock. Do you think this is, they're counting it based on the individual or like we're, there's, they're counting it between us? Are we growing exponentially here? That's probably not right. Growing in ability, in power, or? In the amount of eyes. Amount of eyes. Uh, I mean, it's all conjecture at this point. The only thing I'm feeling is that we need to, whatever plan we're going to cobble together, we need to do it fairly quickly and act on it. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Good morning. Hey. Can you reach out to um, <coughs> Lucian or any of the other tomb takers? Have you tried to connect your mind? It's crossed my mind, but I haven't tried. I'm willing to try, though. Hey, asshole. I don't know how would we know. I could try scrying on him and see. Oh, I hate it. I feel icky when I try to do it, but I could. Think he can see through these? I don't know. Doesn't seem like he needs to see through these. Mm -mm. See anyway. I think with his magic, though, he knows exactly where you are. So, what are we going to do today? Um, we could get some shopping done. This is uh, as good as it gets for supplies and anything you need. Wait, where are we again? Rec Central. <clears throat> Thank you. We're good around. Heading to Nicodrona soon? One of the last two stops, as far as I know. Yeah, is Nicodrona sort of our jumping off point for when we're ready to go? Sure. I need to go home before we... You need to go home? I do. Okay. Why? It was a piece of the puzzle. I don't know. I had a dream. Uh, a dream. Do you have an eye? Do you have an eye? I have two. No, you know what I mean, Caduceus. I, I look do. in his armpit. <laughs> I lift up his armpit. It's just a birthmark. It's not shaped like an eye or anything. If anything, it should probably be looked at. Uh, <laughs> it's like sandalwood. <laughs> yeah, it does. Thank you. A little eucalyptus. I wear a little. Well, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been I had a dream that made me think that 
there's some connection, that there's something I should see. I don't know. I wasn't planning on going home, but I think, I think I have to. A connection to the Astral Sea, to what Lucian? To what we're fighting, I don't know. Was it connected to the forest we saw? I think it was. <gasps> the one we burned? Yes. Is it bad that I burned it? You think I made it worse? No, I, I think, I genuinely think we did the right thing. Okay. But. I don't know, I didn't want to go home, but I think I have to. Do we need to go there before Nicodranus, or? That's up to you. Well, I think we should just agree on our musts, the things that we need done. I think that Jester's idea to approach my old friends and see if they would be willing to procure more medallions for us, that, that might be possible. Be wonderful if, if we could hide from them. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and we just plunge ahead. I think there's enough history between them and I that they would agree to meet. Just remember, let's try and find a quiet, secretive place to meet with them, since they are being investigated. Hmm? Maybe you can have them come to the tower. That seems like a nice secret place. Huh. <clears throat> you don't have to show them the floor that has, you can keep it a secret. Do we have any other friends in town? Or could we upgrade the tower with some more, I don't know, like a bell chime if people choose to come or go or restrict well, their- I can already do that. Sorry, I'm just reconfiguring my ideas for the day. Um, we we, we could do. do that, we could do that. And we do have friends in town. So we could get a message to them without being seen. I could also send a message to them without being seen. <laughs> That's a bingo. You know it's what I do. It's, it is what you do, <laughs> that's true. So, little bit of shopping, <clears throat> school friends. Mm -hmm. Does anyone else have anything to do here in this town? I have a, I have a question for you, actually. Um, being the big arcane brain, in your time at the Cerberus Assembly, did you study any of what Lucian and the Tomb Takers do? It's what Molly did, the, the, the blood magic. I don't think so. You mean specifically what, like, whether or not I, I have come across knowledge in wider Roll an well, arcana check. Well, we, we learned that they were of the order of the clerics. 27. Damn. Wow. Um, <clears throat> you've come across in your studies at school bits and pieces of what's called hemocraft. Hemocraft um, is a form of arcana that is considered largely necromancy adjacent and not formally taught. Um, Largely because it uses blood as a focus and as a tool for all sorts of spells, which both from a divine worship standpoint and just from a societal standpoint is largely misunderstood or embraced by people of less than moral persuasions. Um, there are historical elements of blood mages and people that have used and harnessed blood as a power source, and to do so you need a lot of blood. It usually involves a lot of bodies. So, yeah, uh, Himocraft historically is heavily frowned upon by most society and civilization. Um, those who practice it, there are different uh, pursuits, but the orders are self-proclaimed keepers of the secrets of Himocraft, and you've heard tales here and there about some of them doing good things, some of them doing bad things. They largely kind of wander outside in the the outskirts of civilization for that reason, for whatever their purposes may be. But but that that is what you would understand from your studying uh, in the realm of what the tomb takers seem to be trained with. Okay, so I would say I probably dithered about a bunch of that. Was there something specific? Yeah, they mentioned they were, as Jester said, a part of the Claret Order, and I just assumed that was a thing, like a, a temple or a religion or something, but 
Does that mean there are more of them? And if so, is it a small group, a big group? Is it someone that we should check in with to see if, like, I don't know, are there <laughs> other branches of the Claret Order that are doing the same shit, or would they be unhappy that these five are talking to each other through a bunch of red glowing eyeballs? Seems like that would depend on history, right? It did, that would it, be history. I, I was going to say, would Bo have heard of this? Mm, both roll history check. 27 again. <laughs> well, roll probably not as good as, well, well. What's 14 plus 16? A lot. That's, that's 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. <laughs> All right, Empire kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's the eyes. The eyes give them special powers. It's true. Uh, you know of the orders, um, but any location of theirs or any specifics is pretty well kept on their guard because if not, they would probably be hunted or at least subject to all sorts of manhunts. Um, but what you both would know is that they, they, they're a little nomadic. There is no like central location that they stick to, and the few that did exist have been burned and toppled. Whoa. Um, probably once they were discovered by members of the Empire or even the uh, Julius Dominion, the very, very beginning, um, for those who were practicing Hemocraft even before the orders really took place. Um, All right, so it's a little bit like trying to find the Court of the Owls. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Good ref. Yeah. Uh, you would notice with your passive perception, Caleb, as you're having this conversation, and it's maybe it's the conversation about Hemocraft, maybe it's just kind of the the Rude awakening that led you to being a little more focused in the morning, but as everyone's kind of getting their materials together, donning their armor uh, to start the day, you notice beneath kind of uh, Ford's undershirt this like faint red glow that just ever so carefully catches your eye at this proximity, right across kind of where the sternum is poking outside of the shirt. Yeah, so I can see why you're good looking. When we were in the quick hurry to get away, um, Lucian, while keeping his eyes on you, sort of did a back swipe with his scimitar, and when he did, this, like, arcane circle appeared on my chest, and it burned real bad. And I only thought of it this morning because you guys have two more of those eyes. And so I just didn't know if you might know anything about that. Well, take your shirt off, I want to see it. Wait, what? <laughs> Ooh. <Whoa. laughs> the beauty. Oh, it's so blind. D4 force it's damage. so skinny. <laughs> Not anymore, bitch. Oh, Pop and lift it. It's like, it's, true. it's inverted. No. We took up our reps. Everybody, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. What is it? What What is it? Do you recognize the symbol? With with your contract earlier, the, um, you you do see it's it's very faint and and just barely visible on the skin. It's just it looks almost like like scars in a a circle pattern, and it forms a glyph with a series of symbols carved within it. And there's a very very faint, deep kind of reddish purple glow. Um, it is old Hemocraft. Fuck. Um, it is a brand of some kind. Is You're uncertain necessarily of like exactly what it does, but it remains on his chest. Um, well, you rolled the 27 of Arcana. Um, it is a brand, the best you can tell is it has some semblance of divination attached to it. It, it, it bears some similar marks. Fuck. Yeah. Is it, do you think it can be dispelled? Maybe. Dispel magic. Dispel magic. Okay. Uh, let me check one thing real fast. Just to Check in on my own shit. Wow. I think oh, I would have no. noticed this when I was changing clothes, but I'm fairly <laughs> unaware. Apparently, my passive perception sucks. It's like a sunburn. How it, like, gets do you redder. gaze at your own yeah, chest? Yeah, yeah, I don't know about you, okay. but every day for me. <laughs> if you could go ahead and roll a d20 and then add your intelligence modifier for me. Low roll. Uh, intelligence modifier. Yeah. yeah, low roll. 12. 12. Yeah. You go to dispel, and there's a shimmer, and it glows brighter for a second, and you swear for a brief moment you feel like it's getting hotter, uh, and then it just kind of subsides uh, and remains unchanged. Uh, it reacted to the dispel, but it did not scatter or vanish. Did you say that it it has scars and things? It looks like a scar almost that wasn't there before, but almost like it was branded into his chest. I yelled, don't move! And I slap him really hard in the tit. 
Ah! 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 Oh, no, my nipple's hard. Ah, ah. What if What if Yasha used her... Oh, wait, do you have that sword in your yeah. mouth? I gave it... I, yeah. No. Oh, sorry. Came on, I did a switcheroo. Well, I guess it's just the three of us. <laughs> Lucian disciples will have to stick together, all right? Wait, can you guys, can you three speak together as in unison now? Yep. Yeah, splinter group, yeah? At oh, the same sure. time, one, two, tits. three. Max tits. Maximum tits. Maximum tits. Oh, it's maximum tits alley. Some of them is so hard to understand <laughs> their ways. <laughs> it's a lot of training. <laughs> Maximum tits? Yep. <laughs> Maximum tits, Allie. <laughs> yeah. Yep. My favorite album. We play it backwards, it'll all make sense. <laughs> the street yeah. slums of Rex and Yeah. <laughs> cool, you want to go over to Maximum Tits? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> cool, cool. Well, how do we get that? What does it even do? How do we get that thing off of you? Divination. <clears throat> they can follow. Follow. Or yeah. So it's the same plan for more reasons. Oh man, we need to get rid of that or else, well, no. Well, we keep trying, maybe. Are you able to? I can dispel magic. Wanna well, give it a shot? You might have to touch Ford's chest. Just slap him really hard in the tit. Oh no, what am I going to do? Uh, Yasha, maybe, <laughs> you know, spread your wings, give them a little privacy. No. Like a, like a, <laughs> like, a like a changing curtain. <gasps> I'll, I'll, I'll open my jacket, because I'm big, yeah, sure. and I'll just cover them. That's nice. I want there to save those. Need that. I'm, I'm already have no shirt on. Case. I know, but no, she's going to be up there doing things. I'm going to cast it at fourth level. Fourth level? Should okay. I do it higher than that? Why waste it it's on It's just board? a burned sigil into my chest. I mean, you know, don't worry too much about it. I don't know these things work. I'm just asking. Yeah. Well, we don't know how strong the forces are we are dealing with. I slap him in the tit again. <laughs> ah! Maximum <laughs> tit! <laughs> oh, God. Okay. My hands are cold. Okay, I loosened him up for you. Give it a shot. Okay. Get the blood flowing. Both tits. Just slap or them. place? No, just place. Okay. <laughs> oh. At fourth <laughs> level, you said? Huh? At fourth level? At fourth level. level. Go ahead and roll a d20, add your wisdom modifier, please. <laughs> Dang it. I'm gonna. You're, I see you doing this. I'm gonna be <laughs> open with this shit. Really? A one. No. Oh. <laughs> that was the minimum. Minimum. Oh wait, minimum that's it. As she places her hands on your chest, even as she tried to warm them up, they're still pretty cold. Pecs, my pecs, my you're rock hard fucking pecs. You're, minimum tit you're. lane. <laughs> on your chest. Yep. <laughs> um, you feel that that sigil begin to warm and warm, and then burn hot, hot. Oh, that that actually hurts a lot. Uh, and it, <laughs> you, you pull away for a moment, and you see it glowing brightly, and then it returns untouched. I'm sorry. Uh, did you get it? And no, it's still there. I guess the spell magic just doesn't work. That would be the conclusion that we would arrive to at yeah. this point. Yes. I feel like this is what the tattoos were like without any of the payoff. Uh. It's what one thing that I learned in my youth is that after a great deal of pain, whack! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> feels it's an outline really now. Good right afterward. It's just the endorphins. Yeah. I should sign that. I could try to uh, rub it out. <laughs> well, that didn't work with Bo, so. <laughs> How many hands do you need for that? <laughs> I don't even need my hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 sure. This is a serious. This is a serious show. Okay, sorry. I don't. I have dispel magic. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have dispel magic up, but I hadn't finished selecting my my spells, so I'm torn. What if but... that spell doesn't even work? <laughs> I mean, okay. I feel like we would believe that it doesn't at this point with two of us trying it. Uh, Let's go find that pillar and I. Did you look again. like you sucked at it? That was the question. Did I look like, like I sucked yeah, at it, right. or if I was really ah. focusing? Okay. Is this like it's a were... spell thing or a yeah. restoration thing? It's I don't fine. Know look, if it's to... if it's so he can see me, he's already going to be looking at us anyway through scrying. Maybe it just lets him know exactly where, where we are. Yeah, or something. Well, well, do you have greater restoration because? You know, we could try that. It does It does help with curses. Maybe well, it's like your curse. Wasting greater restoration on this? 
Right. You, you're one of our teammates. Of course we're going to. Well, I mean, we're far away. I do. We're not going to do him much good that. at this point. Oh, God. <laughs> um, so involved. <laughs> We should go. We have we, things yes, to do. Yes, we have to buy things. Yeah, no, I don't think it would help with this. Okay. We got distracted by his rock hard pecs. Thank you, Caleb! It was, ir- it was ironic. His chest was a lot. I suppose. Sure was. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we're going shopping. We're going to find my old school chums. Then we are going to travel to see your folks. Feels important. Shopping for what? I'll talk to you later. Just out of curiosity, I, I'm down to go. Can you give us any hint as to what you saw? Like, are we going to fight beasts or <laughs> plants or... I didn't see anything to fight. I just saw that perhaps... I saw that perhaps the corruption is more related than I thought it was, and that I was hoping it wouldn't be, and that maybe... that there is a reason to go. What precisely did you see? Forest in pain, forest dying. Uh, it's been a while, to be honest. Uh, hours. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Does it feel worse than how you left the grove? Feels more acute. Mm. It feels very specific. It feels like what we saw. This seems dire. Do you feel like it's a result of what we did? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. But. I'm choosing to be hopeful about it and think that if somehow the Grove has combated this effect for so long, even if it has been slowly losing that battle until recently, that maybe, I don't know, there's maybe something to be gained by seeing this battlefield. Make an insight check for me. This is a general insight into the dream itself right. and the... Self-insight? Uh, the imagery, the twenty-four. Experience. Not bad. You know not of the status of the grove. Um, there were threads that seemed to connect elements of the Savalier Wood to things that you saw in the ruins in Isle Cross. Um, the imagery, the transformation of the landscape mimicked a transformation to that of the hungry, floating city of Cognosa itself, the ground turning into teeth and tongues, the trees becoming limbs and buildings, architecture and flesh merging, swirling, twisting, consuming. Um, if that were happening now, that would be awful. Maybe it was a premonition. Maybe it was the importance of what path you're on, or what's at stake should you fail. It's hard to tell. Just, just to say, wow, this is what two weeks does. <laughs> uh, would it be possible just to check in really quickly to see? I don't know that messages are <laughs> are thin. Oh, but, sure, I can scry on your sister. Or just a, just a. I've never been there, so I can't. Talk or? I've never been to your home. Oh, send a message to Yeah, them? just a message. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can send a message, of course. Uh, do you have a favorite or should I? You just tell me who you want to talk to. Um, let's, uh, let's talk to Cornelius. Let's talk to Dad. Cornelius? To Cornelius. Have, I, have I met Cornelius? You've met them all. I didn't meet Cornelius? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, you, like you, you met the whole Clay family. Okay. Um, there was like five of them. A lot of them. There's a yeah. lot of them. Shocker. At the lagoon, after def- after all the statues were found around. Okay, the- okay, 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 okay. All right, I'm going to you. send a message to Cornelius. What would you like me to say? Just, I'm coming home. We're coming home. Things have been strange. And is everything all right? Has there been any change? Are things holding? Okay. Okay, I'm going to send a message to Cornelius. That was 22 words. Wow. I'll, I'll give it some flair. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, I'll make it hey. Put a little stank on. Three words. 
I already forgot what you wanted to say. <laughs> Don't, that doesn't count. I haven't sent the message yet. Stop it. I'm sending the message now. Cornelius. Caduceus here. We've been doing things creepy shit. <laughs> Is everything Where's We've the punctuation? Doing... <laughs> 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 Are we? <laughs> Are we shit? Are we? loving baby seal. That sounds like you're trying to tell his parents you've been <laughs> getting involved with their son there. <laughs> Heading back. How are things there? Creepy shit too? How's the woods? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> a lot of umlauts in that message. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's amazing. Uh, How are the roots? Woof. <laughs> 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 Heading back? <coughs> what does that even mean? I, I should have just gone with what he said. <laughs> We've been doing creepy shit too. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> and good morning. <laughs> Not a lot of new creepy stuff. Woods are fine. Dreams have been weird. Oh. Wild mother, watch us. He was really concise with his words. I'm impressed. Yeah. Why I picked him. I, I let you know what he said. Dreams, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what? Have you guys tried to make anything with your minds yet? Or to make anything while you're dreaming? I've thought about it. <clears throat> I'm... I just don't, I feel like I, we need to talk about that. I mean, isn't technically like just using your hands, making things with your mind? I mean, well, I like... mentioned last night that maybe yeah, there, there is a power here that we can harness. I'm trying to actualize or manifest a hat on Beauregard's head. What kind of hat? Like a Napoleon hat. Make it good. A yeah. Big okay. feather. Yeah. You lose thirty. Are you just hit. trying to stare really hard till it hurts. Is that <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'm gonna, I'm I gonna help, take out my paints and draw a Napoleon hat. Damn it! I help Caleb and make just a hand check. Okay. Really think about the Napoleon hat. Napoleon hat. I'm, I'm staring right at her while I do this. Fifteen. We will manifest a hat. There we go. We will manifest a hat. Chant it together. You, you watch his close your eyes. Close your eyes, think a bit harder. But I feel like if I use my eyes. Mage hand. Manifest a hat. I'm thinking of Easter Sunday. You watch as gingerly, out of nowhere it seems, this kind of cartoony Napoleon hat. <laughs> you know, the, the great Steve Napoleon of Wild Mount. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just drifts down out of, out of frame of your vision Napoleon. and gently comes to rest at an awkward cocked angle onto Bo's head. Well. <laughs> We have done it. The power of the Somnovum knows no bounds. Congratulations and welcome to the Eyes of Nine, Beauregard Lionette. <laughs> it's made of paper. No, it's not. It's made of oh, actual it's hat stuff. Oh, it's made of paint. It's magical oh. paint. Magical paint. Yeah, I made it out of my magic paints. You know, hat well, stuff. I mean, I didn't make it. I'm saying he made it out of magical. <laughs> it's real hat stuff. The stuff that hats are made of. <laughs> Fuck your D&D character's name. Steve Napoleon. In this <laughs> if someone's not Steve Napoleon in campaign three. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we should move forward with our plans. <laughs> Yes. At some point this morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I? Where, you have a, a an eye on your neck. Where? where? Uh, no, it's back here. Oh yeah, with your angel blood, maybe you can. What? I wanna just flick it. Oh, flick it. Oh. And just see if it gets mad. <laughs> okay. It's a stupid thing to do, but no, just to see no. if there's an, any response to. I'd be mad if you flick stimuli. It. Or Agitating. You, are you flicking it? Do you want? I'm subtracting one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. She's raging. I just tap on it. 
Um, <laughs> like I could a steady hit. Times and kill you. Uh, likely a small welt will rise in time, <laughs> but it doesn't seem to react. It's odd, and much like with Molly Mock in the time that you knew him, these tattoos—they look like tattoos. You know, like a glance. It looks like ink. It bends with the skin. It's just an image. Um, so it doesn't have any difference in physicality or texture, other than the fact that, in a close look, it is smooth. There's no pores. Ew. Just where the eye is, it's just a smooth surface. Okay. Can I give, give me one of your not not so creepy cool. daggers? Just a regular dagger. They were all stolen, but I, I'll oh. give you a, a crossbow bolt. Okay. I'm gonna take a crossbow bolt and poke my finger until it bleeds. Okay. And then I'm gonna go over to the eye and smudge it on the eye. It smudges onto it. Oh. Yeah, that was a good well, idea. Sorry, that's gross now. <laughs> I thought it would do something. You feel more powerful. Do you feel just sticky? I don't know. Still just feel awkward. <laughs> yeah. So that plan. Okay, so, so we know we're gonna talk to your crow. <clears throat> oh, <boy. laughs> oh, she's changing. Oh, oh, kill her! Kill her! Roll initiative. <laughs> no! <laughs> no. We've, we've, we've mentioned I'm so close. We've mentioned shopping a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are we shopping for? Well, you need more crossbow bolts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, but I need some supplies. I need okay. to get. I want to get um, a jeweled chalice, so in case we have to cast uh, mm. Hero's Feast, okay. then we can. Okay. Do you have what you need to revive people and stuff? I got lots of diamonds. Okay. And we got you how many um, uh, healing yeah. potions did we get from? Uh, huh? We got two from Oh, Houston. where where from are Houston? the new healing potions? Don't look at me, I'm not holding any shit anymore. I would oh. like one, because I had to down one. I would like one, one as well, because I had to drink one. Okay, yeah, you both can have a healing potion. Duh. And are they greater, re regular, or? They were just regular, diet. right? Diet. Greater? No, they were oh. superior. Superior, right? Superior. Ooh! Yeah. Is, that, is that this? No, superior. Is that this? Is the that other that? box. Oh, the is huge big, ones? Oh. A little bit larger, yeah. Big hunk and turds, the thing. So what is that, 35? Oh, that D4? That's four d four plus four. But those are five. No, those are eight d four plus eight. Mm. Ooh, that's eight a pick me up. Mm -hmm. that, you need that. Damn, really? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, Jeez. while we're talking equipment, does anyone have any studded leather armor they want to give me? Oh yes, I do. Oh great! I actually have this over <laughs> over here. Take this and enjoy. It. Oh thank you. Uh, uh, talking logistics. So we're going to go to your family, one hundred percent tonight. To do that. That is the most uh, difficult thing that I do. So, can we use? Is there a is there a cobalt uh, library that we can use instead? If we can use a circle of someone to teleport us to the. To is there the, a circle at your your destination? No, but it's wait, it is well. How far away is it from here? Far. It's far. Far. As far as the grove. Mm -hmm. Rexentrum, <laughs> south of Rexentrum. It's in Jorha. No, it's. Uh, I mean, it's in. It's it's north of Shady Creek Run, so uh, it's it's a number. It's a few days travel okay, on okay, okay, on okay, foot okay. or by horse. Yeah, it's so. way in a different place than I thought it was. <laughs> and we have no quick means of bamfing. Oh, quick is with circles, and without a circle, it's my utmost, which we have there's, to do. There's no there's no easy access to that other than the fact it's technically a shrine. So can I I have to designate? Leaving you have to you have to designate. Going, you, have, yeah, not. you have to designate it. Yeah. Um, yeah, otherwise travel is going to be on foot or through magical means. But that means that to talk to my friends, we are not meeting inside my home. Uh, we have to find a physical location here in town today. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see, well, let me see, because I have a spell I could do that might, I, I, I got to see how long it takes to cast. It takes me an hour to cast it. That's okay. That's fine. But That's fine. Um, I can create a temple. Whoa, what? Excuse yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I what could, do you mean? Well, I can create, also, it's not quite as amazing as your tower, but it's it's a temple that, you know, is for the traveler, and it creates basically a, a world, also another door. Similarly hidden? Similarly, well, I think so? Let me see. The creation of this temple um, as opposed to being a door that leads to a pocket dimension, you need the space to create the temple. I it need is, 120 feet. You need 120 feet, because you create an actual oh, physical shit. temple oh, for 24 hours I in that space. I thought it was like a, oh, never mind, that's totally different. Well, that's but that's amazing. Like I mean, Minecraft. that's really cool. That's. 
um, yeah. Yeah. to show us sometime. Yeah, I got it. I've never done it. I I would have to. I I mean, I have to think about That's what I, I would want little... the way that you did the tower, probably, huh? Uh, 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 yes, please. I'm gonna start drawing schematics. <laughs> also need a uh, uh, idol of the of the god that you're. Uh... I've got enough idols five. of him, okay? <laughs> Don't that's just, worry. That's just a dick. She has so many dicks. Five, yeah, it just it needs to be a five gold dick. Sure, yeah. I've got Maximum dick. I've got a 20 gold dick. <clears throat> I've got a 30 gold dick. I've got so many gold dicks. <laughs> 30 like a, gold dick gold and stars 30 up. gold <laughs> dicks. All right, so where are we going to schedule <laughs> this meeting with your friends? 30, 30. We got to just figure that out on the fly. Let's get going. We got to start shopping. Well, maybe we should talk to maybe we should send them a message first if they need to rearrange their plans. Mm. Anything anything Art. to prevent us from leaving would be good. So, yeah. yes. Go okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. The, it's the, <laughs> Who which one should I send it to? Uh, Eldwolf or to Astrid? Astrid, 100%. Astrid would be more likely, I think, to keep it on the down low. Mhm. If if she's going to Wolf, I don't know. Say no more. He's a big brute. We is it him. is oh, that a sir. risk? If you saying that, is there a risk in between now and then of them spilling their beans? Should we just try and grab them? Yeah, is a heads up better, or is it like meet us in five minutes? Well, they're not going to have a. Uh, Maybe it's a meet us in five minutes, or are you available to chat? Or we're outside. Come down and see us. Yeah, wow. I like that. Outside, in, come down in five minutes. Is is on, in Trent's backyard. Um, but he can die too. <gasps> oh no, that's a different city. Why don't you send her a message and just say, "Hey, old friend in town here. Why don't you meet us at the <clears throat> Grim Shelf Tavern?" I love it when Sam uses his notes. The Grim Shelf or cabin. the Stone Coffin Fighting Pit, because that would just be fun to go visit. No. We we'll meet them at the dance hall. The dance hall. The dance hall. The dance hall. The Oopstone Dance Hall. Yeah. I'm gonna send a message to Astrid. When should I tell her to meet us? Oh, the um, <coughs> Dusk. Uh, sure. Dusk. Hi. Caleb wants to talk to you. It's important. Important. <laughs> Meet us at the dance hall at dusk. Tell nobody. Keep it secret from you know who. <laughs> Well done. A brief moment before you get a response. Donka, I'll be there. Please, uh, tell Caleb. Thank you. That's all. She said, she said, Donka, she'll be there. And also to tell you thank you. Well, that's nice. Do, do, she's thanking you for the, the dance hall? What am, I, what am I missing here? What is she saying thank you for? Is she saying thank you because we're... She, she might have been saying gonna... thank you to you for passing along. No, 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 she said tell Caleb, she said tell Caleb thank you. Oh. Giving him another chance? Maybe? No? I don't know. What if, what if she's saying thank you because as soon as she sees us, they're gonna be able to bring us in and it's going to give her like the ability to rise up to the top? Well, then perhaps you will all remain hidden and I will talk to her. Yes. Okay. We'll form a perimeter. We'll stay in the shadows. Some of us will turn invisible. We'll watch. Good idea. Maybe one more of you in the hall. You know, since I have 87 hit points. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, in I disguise. We can all be in disguise if we have to. Fuck it, it doesn't even really have to be you. Can't you, like, project a hologram of him or something? I can project a hologram of me. Oh, okay. You can't dance with a hologram. Oh, I could disguise myself and then project a holograph. Yes, well, no. <laughs> I think just maybe spreading ourselves out amongst the hall. It's not like they don't already know that you hologram. contacted. So oh, right. I think he wants and to be there. there wasn't a request to come alone. We had Vesta Ragnar show up, remember? That's true. She wasn't there. So shopping then? Yeah, shopping then dancing. All righty. So for the Danerex Trim, what are you uh, shopping for? Who's looking for what? <clears throat> 
Well, I need to find a place that sells gems and crystals and amber, specifically. Those are all yeah. fairly easy to procure I here in Rexentrum. Yeah? Ah, uh, I have very little money. Uh, you know what you could do? You could sell that amazing <laughs> ring I have. <laughs> I'm not selling it for. It's 5,000 gold pieces! <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> when they got away with all of our belongings, did they get our gold? I mean, no, I am mean, I just carrying around thousands of pieces of gold on me? I split mine up into individual packages. You, yeah, you guys should keep whatever gold is on you on yourself. Anything else would be in the bag of holes. I keep all my... Gold. We learned this lesson after Hopperduke. I, I didn't keep anybody's gold. I never have gold for longer than 20 minutes, and just so I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, that's right. <laughs> there, uh, also, just just in case we can find anything else magical that might help, it's always worth sure. sweeping a magic shop. Like a ring of ice resistance? That would be amazing. Watch, we go straight to hell once you <laughs> buy that ring. <laughs> I will say, uh, for the purposes of the shopping trip narrative, yeah. um, Similar to your last time here, most of the magical items have have not yet returned from since their wartime conscription. Um, and the last time you did go to a magic shop here, you cleared them out of a lot of their lower end magical items as well. Many a many a celebone still remains within some of you. Um, Don't regret nothing. But yeah, gems are easy enough to procure uh, here in Mexico specifically. It is the capital, and there are sections of the city that are filled to the brim with all manner of uh, textile warehouses and craft sales fronts and carts and, and stores of all kinds. Um, so I guess say what you're looking for and I'll tell you if it's available and for what price you require. Well, I'm looking for, um, Yusa gave me two or three pieces of amber. I'm struggling to remember. I think it was two. So I need five oh, total. Oh, two. I would like a forked metal rod 250 gold forked metal rod attuned to this plane of existence would be smoking, I say, as Talison in Kelly's voice. <laughs> he would never say smoking, and it that came out of our mouth. I want that stricken from the record. Fair enough. The, the Thank you. We can edit it out. It's been a day. That's two. <laughs> um, so three pieces of amber for me. Okay, yeah, you can definitely do that. Just re reduce the cost. The amber's easy to find, comparison to some of the locations. You know, it's not easy. It isn't like there's, they're available at every corner, but after an hour or so of traveling around and asking questions, you find a place that does have pieces that will work for your purposes. Do you know how much it would cost? Um, well, for the pieces of amber that you require for it, I'd say each chunk would be about 20 gold. Okay. So for the three of them, it would be 60. Okay. For the purity and size that you need. Okay. Um, your rod that is attuned can also be found, um, though the attunement process of it is going to be partially a combination of you working with Caleb to do so. Like the rod, the actual requisite materials and construction is very specific, so but we'll it doesn't come like pre-attuned. So, but, but both of you working together would be able to attune it to this plane, since it's the one you're most familiar with. Um, the only other thing is I'd like a little more saffron uh, for my uh, um, true sight. Yeah. If I could get some... Uh, Saffron's good. Um, <laughs> where'd it go? I've opened too many things. Like, I'll say, uh, eh, let's get three of them, so that's another 75 GP, so okay. yeah. Let's like, go ahead and mark that off, and yeah. make sure you mark that in your inventory. Can I get um, incense worth 250 gold, and four ivory strips worth 50 gold? Oh. Each! Those can... Holy shit. <laughs> we have enough diamonds and diamond powder and everything. It's two, so that's 450 gold. I'm also pretty Caleb. flush in cash if I need to help I, fund the clerics. I think it might be good to fund the clerics. Because I don't have enough money to buy a jeweled gold chalice. Oh. Worth at least a thousand gold, though. Girl, I got you. Okay. I'm going to buy Jester that jeweled chalice. Okay. And I forgot. Sugar mama. I wanted to get a, a couple of pearls worth a hundred gold each, if possible. Yeah, those money. can be found as well. Okay. Yeah, you are, you are in the center of the Empire's Influence, and there are many, many different avenues of trade in and out of the city. So, of there, of all places where you're looking for more specific objects, here'd be some of the easiest to find. So, okay. Caduceus, do you need me to buy you anything? Um, you got a either a whether we use 300 or 500 GP diamonds. Is that our what's, how the emergency diamonds are 300 or 500? Uh, 300 for Revivify. 
I think 500 for something else that I can't remember. So I have one 300 gold diamond, one 500 gold diamond, one 1,000 gold diamond. That's that's an emergency. That that's a that's a, that's for the crazy crazy restoration. That's you know that's no time limit. Right. Oh, and I have one more 300. So I have two 300 gold diamonds. Uh. And remember, you got the five hundred gold of residuum from Alora. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty. I'm actually pretty good. I've got. I've got okay. enough for. I've got enough to. to uh, other than powdered diamond. I have four hundred gold worth of diamond dust. Left. Okay, that'll do. Then we're. I think we're fine. Alrighty. Um, I would like to buy something. What would you like to buy? I think either. I'm, I'm looking for like a something that can make you invisible, like a potion of invisibility, or even like a necklace or something. Is there? Jesus, <sighs> go ahead. Roll either an investigation check or a persuasion check. Your choice. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. It takes you the better part of a day, you know, early afternoon or so, and eventually, after asking some questions, you get sent to this small alleyway purveyor of odd knickknacks and and mashed materials, given as as various healing pastes and balms. Um, you can see him kind of arranged in the edge of this cart that's wedged into the shadows. Uh, the gentleman there has this large kind of Red orange tuft of a beard at the end of his chin. He's scrawny and kind of leaning forward with long arms that kind of rest at the edge of the card. He pulls himself forward out of the shadow and looks towards you with this paper hat and goes, Can I help you? Are you looking for something? Uh, yes. Uh, hello. Um, I, I, I'm looking for something um, that could. I don't know if it's a, a, maybe a potion or maybe a. a Necklace or, or some of some sort, but where someone couldn't see you. Is that a? Th now there are many types of not being seen. Are you trying to avoid the sight of things from all over or from far away, immediate or distant? Well, distant. So avoiding. Avoiding the wandering eyes of divination. Correct. Well, and he pulls out this small, kind of uh, balm vial, roughly about the size of a hockey puck or so, and opens it up a bit and goes, "If this is placed upon your person, smeared into the skin and soaks within, for the next hour you will be avoiding any sort of prying magical eyes from a distance, immune to being scryed upon." <laughs> How much is that? This are fifteen hundred gold. Oh, jeez. Okay. It seems grossly expensive. <laughs> that feels grossly expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's a particular purpose. <clears throat> Do you have two? Is this for one person or is this? Uh... Well, this is for one person. Single use. Hmm? Is it single use or is it like yeah, uh, can o disappearing gel? Uh, looking at it, it probably only has a handful of uses. It only lasts for an hour. Even though you aren't the most practiced bargainer, even this seems a bit high. And as far as scrying goes and your experienced jester, it may not be exactly what you're looking for as far as invisibility. It just says Ben Gay on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like time with Tiger Ball. I think this is not exactly what I'm looking for. It's also a little high in price, so well, I think I'm going to. Prices are uh, uh, relative to who wants it. And he goes and tucks it away back underneath the edge of the cart. What about a thousand gold? Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Deal. Uh, or do you want to be invisible? It's done. I'm 
trying to think how, how this could work, actually. You do you. Don't let me. Don't let me. No, no, I know. I'm just. I'm getting ripped off. I know. I feel like I'm getting. This is not oh, exactly what I'm things? looking for, anyway. But it's okay. It could be cool. You hear Victor somewhere screaming. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> Thousand gold. Yeah. I'll buy it. Yeah. He scoots it forward to you happily, grins with a uh, a mouth filled with darkened gums and oh teeth where they've receded from a bit, so the mouth just seems extra wide. His eyes can appear through from underneath his, his long paper hat and appreciate your patronage. Scoops the gold over. Anything it, else Theodore can do for you? Uh, no, but um, if this doesn't work, um, I expect to get my money back, and if not... Well, sales are fine. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, no. As you walk away, you Ooh. hear the sound of a cart shuddering. I hear the sound of a cart shuddering. Meaning, you hear him behind closing shop, like yeah. like his cart's like. He's like, cool. I'm set for. Okay. Oh, he's moving. Thousand G. No yeah. refunds. It's okay. Man, I would like to buy some things. All right. What would you like? I would like forty crossbow bolts. That's easy enough to acquire. No major issue there. Um, I would like. Cost on that would be. Oh, sorry. There's cost. Yes. There's Pay money? Ugh. Give a bolt, take a bolt. I mean, imaginary money. <laughs> so acquiring them becomes a hilarious circumstance eventually. Um, all right, all right. Where is the Where is the page? There it is. Uh, I thought it was. You could tell me literally any amount of money, and I would just say fine. Six say two hundred gold pieces. Fine, done. I don't care. It's all fake money. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fake. No, uh case cross be two gold. You're fine. Right. Um, I would like I'm wearing uh these little earmuffs that that have little horns built in on mm -hmm. onto them. I'd like to get if if I can find some sort of shop, um curio type shop, like a littler pair of horns. Okay. Antler, like antlery things. You do eventually find uh, one of a number of odd haberdasheries that are scattered throughout Rexentrum. Um, going inside, it seems to be more for, at least the, the one that you find for your purposes, is a little more meant for silly occasions. It's meant for celebrations. It's not so much just a classic, nice looking hat haberdashery, more of a place that presents for events and holidays. Um, and as you inquire within, they do not have a hat specifically with antlers on it, but they can cobble one together for you, ready by the next morning if you'd like. I'll take it. All right. Uh, the whole thing together will cost you 20 gold. Amazing. Next, I'd like to buy a, a lovely flower, like a silver flower. A silver flower. Or white, or anything. White's easier. Sure. Uh, <laughs> silver flower could be done if it's painted. Um, but yeah, white flower you find for two copper. And then Easy. La lastly, the components to make a new fluffernutter. <laughs> <laughs> the real loss. <laughs> yeah, you can find, and you wouldn't know where to find those materials uh, with the right questions being asked. Um, just a singular fluffernutter? Oh, maybe I should get enough for two in case I fuck one up when I make it. A double if you fluffer. fuck one up when you make it, you won't be around for a double fluffer? A second. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. We'll say with, with the knowledge and experience, how powerful do you want this fluffernutter to be? As powerful as the last one and then some? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a do double, double, the, double the power. Double the nutter, if you will? Yes, double nutter. Okay. Oh, <laughs> happy Just asking. It affects the DC of the check. Sure. So. Double the nutter. Um, We'll say for, for for the materials to make two fairly comparatively powerful fluffer nutters, <laughs> uh, put you back about 120 gold worth. Oh shit! Boop. That's Thank you. I'm done. Not bad. That'll make us more fluffer nutters. 
Oh. <laughs> well, we have to see if he's successful in making him now. Oh, oh. that's true. Uh -oh. Materials can be a waste, or worse. Don't do that in, in my house, please. <laughs> I'm I'm restocking on chocolate and cocoa too. Just, okay. And that's like as much as much gold or silver as you like to spend on it. You can mark it down. Stupid amounts. It's mm. easy to find in these areas. I was kind of wondering the the market and uh, sort of bump bump into Veth while looking for uh, flowers mm -hmm. as well. Oh, what are you doing here? What? Well, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, I just bought a flower. It's uh, really nice and pretty. It's a very, it's a gorgeous. What kind of flower is that? Uh, I didn't ask. Huh. Um, I'm not very good with this stuff. What do you think of these other flowers? Oh. I mean, they're all nice. Mm -hmm. I got this one for you, though. Wait, what? Why? Well, I thought you could give it to Yasha. Really? Mm-hmm. I was here looking for flowers for Yasha. Are you okay? I'm okay, I just love you so much. Give <laughs> hug. Oh, I'm in your belly button now. Hey, you are. <laughs> it's a beautiful flower. It's big. I, I know. thought maybe you could talk to Jess and she could make it into some sort of corsage thing, or I don't know. Mm. I don't know what girls like. What do you think of this bow tie over here at this other kiosk? <laughs> bow tie? Yeah, this guy over here is, here, just, it's like a hound's tooth. Oh, I'll take a look. Situ what do you think? It's blue. I j is it for you? Hound's tooth is a lot, isn't Are it? Are you for you? Like I, to dress up? Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought I, I like a gift. It's a weird thing to give a bow tie. No, no, it's for me. Oh, then I think it's excellent. Yeah. You can see if they have it in like turquoise or something. Yeah, it's just, the navy probably clashes a bit. No, I don't know. I no, I think it looks good. Do you have see it on? Do you have in turquoise? Um. <laughs> <laughs> it can be acquired. Good check. Priceless. <sighs> I don't want to wait for a commission. Just do the this blue. This navy's do good. The blue. You don't have to wait for a commission. It's I just fine. have to check down the street. No, I got no, friends. You I, have. Okay. Oh, you got no, no. It's really. Never fun. mind. Get out of my place, then. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Thought the customer was always right, but <laughs> I think it looks very distinguished. Okay. And smart, and not trying too hard. It's just like a little. Okay. I'll take it. I'll pay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Way to come out on top. <laughs> That'll be eight silver. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's just his speaking voice. <laughs> uh, sure, here you go. Thank Take you. ten. <laughs> Take ten. I sort of asked Yasha out on a date. So did I. <laughs> I kind of knew. I'm sneaky that way. And I'm excited for you. Do you think you're going to finally, you know, do it? I... Not, not it, but like go on a date. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the plan, yeah. Do you think you're gonna do it? <laughs> <laughs> I am going into this with no expectations and on Yasha's terms and her timeline. I mean, absolutely, it's all about what Henry Crabgrass says, right? 100%. Totally, just, just Consent. Let, let her guide, yeah. guide you. But if you had your druthers. I mean. Yeah? I mean. Yeah? But we'll see. No expectations. I need a shower. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I don't know, maybe not. She's, you know, oh, Jorhasian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, like, I don't think Jorhasian <laughs> ladies shave the pits or anything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the ladies here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I think you're gonna be fine. Do you think so? <laughs> yeah. I'm so nervous, dude. You've got a flower. You've got I a do. bow tie. <laughs> Okay. And you've got an open heart. Mm-hmm. Whatever, whatever happens, happens. If you just talk, that's a that's a win. Yeah. 
what else do, do I do? I need to, like chocolates or something. I got the flower. I got the bow tie. Is that? I I mean I don't That's, think she's um, into chocolates unless yeah. like the chocolate covered grasshoppers or something. Mm. But I think maybe just 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 plan a moment. Just have a moment ready where you can say something or do something that shows how you feel. I'm trying to channel Caduceus here, but I feel like if you open yourself and just are honest and open and vulnerable, okay, you could be likable. <laughs> <laughs> I could be likable. <laughs> Yeah. I could. I've planned several moments. You have? Uh-huh, I've written them down. No way! Um, we'll see, though. Oh, you're not going to tell me any. Thank you for your advice, Beth. I've got to go find Caleb okay, and I'll just push her aside. <laughs> Caleb is looking for a children's bookstore at this moment. You know exactly the store to find. It's yeah. been there. It's been there for sixty years, and still one of the preliminary kind of children to young adult bookstores in Rex Centrum. Excellent. I would like to. Um, uh, I'm looking for a pair of books that I had uh, when I was a child. Um, one is a collection of Zemnian fairy tales, uh, preferably one that contains a, a specific one, um, and then also I'm looking for like a. a, a I don't even know if it's in print anymore, but a primer on on uh, on transmutation okay. and magic in general for, for for children. Make an investigation check. That one's a little hard to find. Yeah. Twenty-two. <laughs> it's hard to find, but not for you, especially given that you you know this so well, like the color of the binder. Uh, the 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 pattern on the, the 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 spine. It you know this so well that even in a wall of various scattered books, you know exactly what to look for. And the minute you pass by your third specific book repository seeking this, you catch it in the lower right, and there it is, one copy. Oh, the illustrations! I remember them very well. I'm sure you do. You're gonna buy it. Yeah. Uh, how much do I owe you for the two? Let me see that one there. Yes, I... Four silver pieces for the two of them. Of course. Uh, I pulled that out. Uh, actually, I just give him a gold. Wow. Oh, wow, wow. Uh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Um, well, here, take a, take a copy of our zine. I don't know. <laughs> he's, just, he's just, he's excited. <laughs> oh, wow. Zemnian punk rock. I am into it. Cool, cool, cool. Not that long ago, I could not have afforded to do that, so enjoy, have a good year. Yeah, you too. Okay, and I just stuff it away and head out into the street. All right. <clears throat> I found everything I need to find. Okay, on everybody the in their successful shopping? I find Caleb coming out of the store. <clears throat> oh. Hey. I wrote down all my ideas. Oh yes, yes? Yeah, you wanted me to write them down. Let me see. Here, hand him a thing. I hand him a piece of paper. All right, I just give it a quick look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That... What? Why? Because. You fucking know why. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh boy. They're magic. I will. They're not going to last. It's not going to be forever. I will. I will do it. Okay. But that's a lot, Beauregard. What? How? That's a lot. How, how, how out of all the things on that list is that a lot? You wouldn't understand. I walk away. <laughs> 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 what are you all even talking about? <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I am wow. so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but excited. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh.
<laughs> oh boy. Oh All right, lest there's any more shopping to be done. We could get the ring just Ford appraised if you wanted. Some, yes, just Ford, we'll go to get, like, we're gonna stop, we're gonna get some pastries, a lot of extra pastries to go into the haversack, because it's always good to have pastries. And then yes, Ford, I will go with you to a jewelry store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go get this ring appraised. Yeah, I just wanted to see if it's kept its value, you know. <laughs> you can hold on to it. Okay. <laughs> you gather all the pastries you'd like. Mm -hmm. There there are quite a number of locations, at least in the part of the city even you're familiar with, which is only a small portion of it, um, where there are a number of bakeries and smells and scents that are easy to follow. We just, is like a, a, you know, a bar hop. Right. But a bakery hop. I dig it. Yeah. So I'll just That'd buy be delicious. It. One day again. Right. Um, <laughs> Damn it. And then, yeah, if you would like to, you you, you find a prominent jeweler, fancy exterior, kind of like a uh, a dark blue painted wood structure with what looks like uh, crystal chandeliers that are lit by magical globes on the inside of the front way, and you're like, this this would be a decent jeweler. You you I need you I need you to do it. Do you want me to do it? I'm, I'm if, 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 if it's shit, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I need you to find out. Okay, I'm going to put the ring on. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hold myself up as fancily as I can, and I'm going to dramatically walk into the store. Ding, 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 ding. Hello! <laughs> I, need this, I need help! Uh, <laughs> the the place is fairly empty beyond what looks like two individuals that work there. One you see a half elven girl who sits up, very short, dark hair, uh, looks like a um, a very small pair of spectacles that are almost so small to the point of being ornamental, uh, pressed against the cheeks below the eyes. She looks up at you, this nice kind of button over blouse. Hello, may I help you? Yes, I need your help. <sighs> It's lovely, isn't it? Are you betrothed? I was. Oh, I am so sorry. I myself was once left in the altar. I understand the heartbreak. I'm so sorry. Anyway, how much could I get for it? Hmm, well, if I might. Yes. She lays down this kind of soft piece of material, like a, almost like a, uh, a velvet or a, a a colorful, I forget what the word I'm looking for. Uh, but anyway, we'll move on from there. <laughs> it's my brain, short circuits. Pulls out a jeweler's kit and a long eyepiece. He was a very wealthy merchant and he left me on the high seas. I think he might have been taken by pirates. Hmm. Well, it is a very nice make. Uh, the band itself is uh, platinum. And Ooh. the ruby, while not uh, magnificent in size, is very well cut. I'd put this ring. Uh, are you looking to sell it? Well, it is enchanted. Oh, um, well, such enchantments, I believe, are a bit beyond our specialty. Oh, right. How much would it be if it wasn't enchanted? Just stand at the ring would be. Um, I could take this off your hands for about uh, 400 gold pieces. <laughs> no, 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 that's terrible. <laughs> I'll go find an enchanted place. Where where would that be? I have a cousin who ha would be able to take a look at that if you'd like. Okay, yeah, sure. Let, let, let me just go ahead and, if you don't mind waiting here for a bit, uh, he may be on his lunch break soon. Okay. <laughs> She darts off, and the other person in the back, who's like deep in a book, just kind of looks up. You see this older uh, human woman with kind of graying hair up in this like top bun with these kind of frazzled curls coming off of it. She kind of goes, "Hey," <laughs> and just goes back to reading. Uh, you wait there for a good 15, 20 minutes or so before the the woman comes back with another man, looks to be a bit younger than her, also half elven, um, hair buzzed very close to the head. Um, who kind of comes in a bit scattered. Oh, um, I'm, I'm still learning. I, I cannot guarantee that I... This is my brother. He'll be able to help you. I thought it was your cousin. Brother cousin. Oh. 
I understand. So, if you would have him, I'd take a look at this. Sure. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. It was given to be my 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 merchant fiance who was stolen by pirates. Wow. <laughs> I know. That it is... was tragic. It means a lot to me. So if you could be so kind as to make sure this this uh, deeply pained woman would know the extent of the love that left her. Yes. Huh? Yes. Right. Um Did I? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh. This ring. Yes. This ring does carry some magic to it. Mm-hmm. Um, namely, uh, is meant for a minor protection. Oh, mm -hmm. a little one. Uh, yes, I'm afraid that the man who left you um, was. Uh, a bit, what's the word that they say? Uh, cheap. <gasps> no, you don't. Don't tell me these things. My broken heart. I'm so sorry. It's not worth anything? Well, I, it's worth something, but you know, she would be the, the person to ask about. Oh, I understand. Mm. Oh, my poor, cheap, dead fiance. <laughs> <laughs> what will I ever do? Well, um, we could find it under the hand of somebody who appreciates it. For but a small fee. We'll take it off your hands. <laughs> you know what? My heart, it is breaking too much. I think I'm just going to take it and wear it forever. In the, it will remind me of him. Because you're full of shit. This is actually a very expensive ring. Okay? Well then, good day. But I really appreciate everything you tried. That was a really good performance. <laughs> <laughs> they both look at each other very confused, and you hear across the room this. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah. And kind of like looks at the other two like, "What'd you expect?" <clears throat> good day. Keep keep track of what relative you say. It's in, it's it's important. Okay. <laughs> As you're leaving the door, you hear like. So are you still paying me? No! <laughs> when your door closes. <clears throat> Guess what for? It's so expensive. It is so expensive, I got 500 gold for it! What? 500 gold, can you believe it? No, it you mean 5,000 gold? Well, no, 500 gold, that's how much you said it was, right? Just a, no! No, no, it was oh, 5,000! No, what am I going to do, my poor dead pirate fiance? <laughs> That was very mean. I know. <laughs> you can keep it. Well, but we should get some money for it, right? I'll just wear it until we find somewhere to sell it. Yeah, sure. It's so sparkly, <clears throat> even if it's not protecting me. You're not going to attune to it? You're just wearing it? Well, Ford, I can't attune to this and also this pink stone that's floating around my head. <sighs> when we start to get around the tomb takers again, one of us should attune to it. You're right. Do some... you want to put it back on? No, you, you can keep it for now. Okay. Don't let me get my finger chopped off and lose it. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. All right, we tried to find the other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that, that ends your journey yep. on that? All righty. <laughs> well done. Worth it. Um, <clears throat> fuck. Fuck. As the day slowly <laughs> clambers on, into a dusk shade of dark reds, oranges, and purples. The various magical lanterns of Rexentrum begin to alight. The people begin to shift from their daily chaos and hustle and bustle into some elements of celebration, some elements of drinking away the pains of the day, general rabble-rousing. But the life and the energy does shift into the night of the capital city. What would you like to do? Dance it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's just, uh, we have a lot to do. So this is either. Ourselves before we go in. 
Yeah, maybe. Maybe you'd, I stay the way I am and you all find a place to sit or dance or... Okay. I can disguise myself. <laughs> How fancy is everybody looking here? I can do... Oh, no, I can't. This is just like a bar, right? Uh, it's more of a beer hall, dance hall. Yeah. So it's not it's very not fancy. fancy, no. No. It's not, it's not like a dive bar by any means, no. but nobody here is coming dressed to the nines. It's, it's a, moderate. It's like a cultural landmark. It's a, this, is, this is the empire. Yeah. Cool. We should be outside as well as inside, yes? Who will be outside? I'm no good at seeing <laughs> things from a distance, so maybe I could be close up and <clears throat> either invisible or disguised. Mm -hmm. I will stay outside the door. Are there a ton of, um, well, yes, I will look like uh, someone who has taken their drink outside and is just posted up back against the establishment, perhaps too okay. far into my cups. Got it. So you're posted out front, playing the part of, a, of a, uh, an early evening drunkard. Ah, uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Who else? I'm gonna go the red-headed, bearded, uh, human human male build, my my atypical, mm -hmm. what I my my uh, Ford Prefect. Okay. Uh, and you know, dressed all right. I'm gonna sit in the corner of the bar, trying to get the full lay of the place, just to, and just you know, nurse a, 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 some fruit juice. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so you're red-headed <laughs> and inside. Hmm. You're inside the place. I'm inside the place. With red hair. Yeah. I. I'll be inside as well. Outside, human looking, a little busted up. Okay. But not near the front door, like call it 50, 60 feet away from the door. Okay, you've got it. I'll be inside as well, a human woman, um, long black hair, tight fitting dress, bombshell hanging out at the dance floor, waiting for some <laughs> young stud to sweep me on my feet. <clears throat> okay, you got it. <laughs> I'll post up in a corner, uh, in a booth, just okay. kind of quiet, just making sure. I'll have different vantage points. Nothing behind you me. Can't disguise yourself. Can't uh -uh. You? <laughs> Trying to figure out what's I best for me. I can make you invisible me. for an hour. What? Whatever you feel. And are you also going to be invisible? <clears throat> um. I don't, I could be. Yeah, we could be the invisible ones. I think I can do that. If I do it at a higher level. Only if you're yeah, feeling it. Yeah, I can do that. I can make us both invisible. Okay. I'll be with not mm. for invisible. I have an image of you just hanging from the chandelier, like doing the. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Full minority report, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, so um, you both vanish. I wanted to ask if, uh, could I, you have the, my old medallion, yeah? Yes. May I borrow it? Of course, of just course. For, just for this. Okay. I mean, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever okay. you need, stud. Okay, okay. You're going to get hit on so much tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of confusing. Okay. I will go um, sit and, and, and sit at a table, like on the edge of the dance floor, and wait. Right. The usual table? Yeah. All right. <laughs> 10, 15 minutes or so go by, keeping an eye on the crowd in here, the, the odd hustle and bustle, the mixture of languages, laughter, the occasional argument, but mostly the energy here is fairly jovial. Um, drinks and food being bought about, it is as pleasant as you recall, and one of the more pleasant locations you've been to in Rexentrum. Um, before you dig in deeper, I, one last thing I wanted to do is, yes. before this moment I would have run off to the loo, to cast fortune's favor on myself. To rub one out. To rub one out. <laughs> to rub one out. You gotta pray hey, before the date. You can cast fortune's favor anywhere on your person. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go in loaded. Heroism. <laughs> Geometric shapes. <laughs> okay. Matt's red. <laughs> I just envision like just just holding the little. The little black pearl going. <laughs> Not the black one. I need that one to go to Rumblecast. One of the ones I bought today. Anyway, back to the table. Back to your excellent narration. As you return from your favoring fortune, um, you've been hit on numerous times, um, usually by 
let's say one one was just a very shy gentleman and was like, uh, would, would you care for a dance, maybe? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what to do. He's like, I know, and he just kind of scared him off briefly. Um, another one was a total douche, bro, who just came up to you, you know, sleeves rolled up, hair kind of wet back, and he's got his big heavy tankard in his hand, and he's just like, uh, would you like to dance, huh? Fuck off, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god. In the in the midst of the sound, and chuckles, and shouts, and music, and drums, everything gets a bit quiet. Caleb is glancing upon, across the chamber to the entryway. You see, kind of stepping in. Uh, Female figure, wearing a casual dark gray, looks like a, a short robe with a mantle over top and a hood. She kind of pulls it back just a little bit and glances about. You can see the familiar lightish hair tumble past the eyes as they meet yours. And she beelines across the chamber. Did I see her come in? You did. Was she alone? Make a perception check. 16. 16. And she, rooftops on the street. Yeah. Glancing cool. about, she appears to be alone. After she comes in, I'm going to just start wandering around without bumping into anybody, if I can, uh, using my blind sense to see if I can see any other invisible people around. Interesting. Make an acrobatics check. Okay. <laughs> wow. That landed on Stand. top of another dial. I saw that. <laughs> Should I take it? Yeah. Oh, it's 19 <laughs> plus 10, 29. Yeah. You're not just dodging through the crowd. You are pirouetting and leaping and corkscrewing. <laughs> and yeah, it is. It, Catherine it, it, Jones. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's, if, if anyone could see you with like the coolest display of, of capoeira, you were just like leaping and spinning through the crowd and between people, but keeping it to the beat of the music. It's awesome, but nobody can see it. Um, I would have seen shit. Yeah. <laughs> you do not sense anyone mysteriously invisible in the chamber around you, aside from Beauregard. Oh, there you are. I um, are there like exposed beams in this place that I? Can... On this, yes, there are. There is. It is a higher ceiling here on the base floor. Of this. I'm gonna do some dope monk shit, and I'm gonna get up in the beams so I can patrol from the top. Make an acrobatic check. It's super easy. It's gonna be hilarious if I fail. That's why I had a roll. Yeah, it's fine. Case. It's fine. Twenty, uh, three. Easily done. There are easy footholds on the various planks in the wall, and you just, and you're up there with nary a sound. Any sort of slight impact or noise is drowned out by the surrounding din. No worries. I'm just gonna patrol from above. You got it. You watch as she comes and joins across. Your sitting arrangement pulls the hood back over her shoulders, smiles a bit before leaning forward. It is good to see you, Brian. It's good to see you. Have a seat. Thank you for uh, meeting me on such short notice. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm very nervous here more than I have pin on our, our past meetings. I've sort of been uh, trying to rehearse all day what I would uh, talk to you about here. And uh, none of it seems appropriate. Uh, things okay here after uh, dinner? She kind of glances about the room. Um, they've been interesting. You and your friends travel to Isocross at the behest of S. Drogna. We did. 
Come on, let's dance. Hmm. And take her by the hand and lead her out into the middle of the floor. She goes along with it. And as you both begin to dance, and the, the tune here is a little more of a rhythmic sway, so it's easy enough to engage, but interesting, it's been a while since you've been in a position to try and lead, but your partner is also often switching and taking the lead. There's almost a duel within the duet of a dance, as she kind of comes by and brushes past your ear and whispers, keeping it covert while looking over your shoulder. Ludinus has been keeping an eye. Never one to trust, yes. So he requested that you be tracked by Vostraka. So he followed you. How far did you get? Well, quite a bit until you came to a base of a mountain range and turned into birds. It's hard for us to follow those who polymorph. Um, but you need to be careful. Ludinus is very well aware of what has become of us. Knows of your proximity. Just be careful. What does Ludinus know of her condition? I do not know. I just know that no one has heard from her in the assembly for weeks. And you are the last to leave with them. <clears throat> I struggle with trust, and I want very much to trust you. I think we both know that's not entirely possible. Not if we're both to stay alive. <laughs> what I wanted for the Empire as a child is different than what I want for the Empire today. And I would hazard a guess that what you and I want for the Empire is similar in some ways, but different in many others. I turn her around and scan the room. Four? Hmm? Scan Where four. everyone is. You can make out everybody except for, oh, you can make a perception check. Eighteen. Eighteen. You see Yasha in the corner. You see dancing not far from you, Jester in her uh, illusory form. You see Caduceus having a seat and sipping from a drink. And that's all you can see within the chamber. But all eyes are in your direction, and they're keeping a close watch. I care very much for the friendship that we once had. But I don't trust you entirely, and I'm sure you do not trust me. And yet, I have come here today to ask you a favor. A few weeks ago, the number one thing on my mind was trying to sort out the pieces after that peace treaty and how to improve things here at home. And all that is gone. My friends and I, we are getting wrapped up in something, a danger, a very real danger that includes the survival of the Empire, the Kryn, all of us. There is something terrible coming out of the North. Something that has no preference for nation. And this is going to be so hard to swallow and overlook, but 
I need your help. We are in a race with a ticking clock to um, stop a very real threat from being unleashed. And we're being tracked. In fact, I may be watched at this very moment, which means you may be. Do you still wear one of these? Her eyes kind of still pass by yours, and she grabs your hand and begins leading you, and the dynamic of the dance has shifted. And as she brings your hand up across the shoulder, you see it brush past a cord on her neck where a similar hmm. medallion briefly drifts out before it slides back beneath the shawl. She spins you around and pulls you in, and switching into Zemnian, she says, These are odd times, indeed. But this confusion is advantageous. If there is any love left between us, I need more of these. And I um, just lay my head against her head and dance for a moment. Not forever. Not for anything against the Empire or you. My differences with you, we'll save them for a later day. But I need enough of these for my friends. For a few weeks, maybe. So that we can go unnoticed. And I, I promise you, as the boy that I once was, and the love that the three of us shared, I mean no harm against the Empire, or you, now, and I will bring them back. I'm begging, Astrid. As you kind of leaned into her, there's a brief moment where, even though you're still dancing, her body kind of seizes briefly, that kind of limber sway to the beat clams up ever so slightly. You feel her hand kind of touch her back and shoulder, and she falls back into lockstep with you and listens, there's that pause. And she just leans into your ear. You're just kind of cheek to cheek, not even looking at each other. I'll see what I can do. Just know there are eyes on you. Which means either we're walking into their trap, or you beat them at their own game. As she says those things, um, and we're dancing around the room, I spot Jester and watch. Tracking her insane dance moves <laughs> until we spin away. <laughs> and then I pull back a bit. <laughs> As you pull back, she pulls back a bit too. And you can see her kind of like ride herself and smile putting on that formal mask, that veneer that you've seen before. It drops again briefly. She looks at you once more and Zemnian and says, I know you're here. It could be an opportunity. If you strike first. Well. It was good to see you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And, um, well, maybe we'll catch up some other time. Fräulein. Cheers, Brian. She puts her hood up and goes to exit the location. You watch her exit and head out 
I follow. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. I t- 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 across the beams, slink down one of the walls, trailer <clears throat> out the front entrance a little bit. Okay. As I see Bovey, I'm like. <coughs> no, she's invisible. Oh, not to see. I will kind of. Um... <laughs> JK, JK. You just, you know, just swallow and you accidentally inhale some of that spit, you know? And you're like, <laughs> I'll give Ford like a little like pop pop on the shoulder though. Like, <laughs> that'd be cool. <laughs> Jeez. Ghosts. <laughs> Sneaking up on a camera. <laughs> right in the tip. <laughs> I track just for a little bit. Okay. Make a stealth check with advantage. Yeah. <clears throat> Been a cucumber behind me. Cool, Don't fuck me, Gil. Natural 20 Gil! It's been a while yeah. and 30 been total. It's been a while. Yeah. All righty. You follow her for about seven or eight minutes before you see her kind of veer off the road a bit and head into just a small, not even an alley, but a little pocket between two buildings. Pocket. Okay, got You're it. Down alley. Dude, I might need to. I might need to find this again. Go, 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 go. Okay, as you kind of catch around the side, catch around the side. about three, four feet. Four feet. <laughs> three, four feet. Yes. <laughs> Within this side pocket, you see her now, kind of back against the wall, sitting on the ground, knees close to the chest, and she's just kind of curled up in a ball. <laughs> Just, how long does she sit there? About five or six minutes or so. Does she seem deeply conflicted, clearly? Or like, what? what is her? Good. <laughs> Good job. Deeply conflicted? I don't know. She's not to be projecting or it, or on her or anything. Her? Yeah. Make yeah. an inside check. Seem like she has a big day tonight. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you touch somebody and they're under an illusionary okay, spell, okay, you can okay. tell that okay. yeah. that's not them. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Uh, 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 15, 16. Pretty good. You see, it's okay. In the low light, at this point in the day, it's a little challenging to pick up most of the details of her expressions, the physicality. It's hard to tell, but she spends a good five, six minutes or so sitting there, Is she just crying? kind of. She's crying, isn't she? She's crying, you guys. Okay. It's hard to tell. But you're cut off guard as she abruptly sits up, stands, kind of brushes herself off. Tally poop. And then beelines kind of in your direction. I hug the wall. Hug it. She continues by and. I peek around the corner. Is she heading for the towers? She's heading towards the deeper exterior of. Uh, where the candles are, yeah. I head back. Okay. After pickpocketing a few baubles, I'll, I'll un, <laughs> uninvisible and then sit down. Or if he's back sitting again, I'll rejoin sure. Caleb. Yeah, I'll head over too. Okay. I'll meet up with Ford in the front. <clears throat> Anything interesting? <clears throat> yeah, sure are a few things that were interesting. Um, I think she would look into our request. We're probably going to need to reach out to her again. Should I do it now? No. Should I do it now? <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Lavoie, whatever do you mean? <laughs> probably wait till tomorrow. Okay. Give her a chance to figure that out. It's not like there are, uh, oh, here. It's not like there are you know, 20 of these on a I wall mean, somewhere, but. You, you. We're all in the same boat now. If you if you want to keep it on, it's special to you, Caleb. Are you using it? I mean, all of us are. But are you using it now? Well, now I'm holding it. <laughs> yeah, but he's peeking at you. Well, he's peeking at all of us. Probably Ooh. peeking at <gasps> Ford. Shall we make him wear it again? Because he's got I'll, the brand on him. I'll send a message to Ford saying, hey, we're just having drinks now. Come back up. <laughs> you can rally. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm gonna walk over. It's a bit like whack-a-mole, right? Yeah. Huh. Caleb, you 
are a very good dancer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you oh, guys shit. were pretty cozy. <laughs> Sorry, the invisibility coming out of it. <laughs> yeah, I love Caleb. it. That's how you come out of Butter invisibility. Go, go, go. Drinks go over the table. Fuck. <laughs> Caleb, your hips don't lie. Oh, she was doing most of the leading. Now we were watching. I, I uh, town I grew up in. Everybody could dance like that. What did she say? How did it go? Uh, do we want to maybe, well, yeah. They had sex on the dance floor. Literally. No, Metaphor- no they did. Metaphorically. metaphorically. Yeah, 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 yeah. More like, um, they uh, followed us north. What? Hmm? And do, do you think that meant they sent people to follow us or she herself followed us? <clears throat> oh. Oh. Volstrecker. She is one, isn't she? Yeah, but she could have been delegating. Oh. I was a little distracted. Um, so all those times, it may not have always been, the, the it could have been, oh wow, we were being very spied on. We were being scried on by lots of people, huh? Oh, so some of those spheres, those eyes, weren't necessarily Lucian. They could no have also been. it feels like all the damn time. But it also wasn't just scrying. I think that they were on the ground there. Present. Yes, they said they lost, lost track of us be... once we took to the air. Oh, oh shit, the time they were with us for a while. That was well. She said into the, the mountains too, right? Wait, didn't we fly? The first time you took flight yeah. was it the was shortly after you went to your first ruin, yeah. and you were choosing between the the oh, Yeti village go or going on, and you go right over the mountain. That right. was the first time you transformed into birds and went over yep, a yep. mountain. So it would have been then. Does she know about the vagina, the <laughs> vagina? Lady D is off the map for them. They do not seem to know why. And I did not get a sense they know about our old friend. Does she think we had a part in? I'm gonna call my vagina Lady D oh. from now on. <laughs> Lady D is a good word. Are you telling <laughs> just me that or the table? <laughs> well, I look to you and say it, but. What is the D short for? <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Ready Dick. for. Richard. <laughs> oh. Good name. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Blue screen, else? blue screen, blue screen. <laughs> um, Did they report us? Are we being investigated? Do they think we're responsible? Do they know? Or does she not know? I mean, we are on their list, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. One of the most powerful here. people in the country is gone and was last seen with us. Which is partially why I wanted to loop them in at the beginning to nip that in the bud, but there are, we do not have any good options. Do we, uh... Have they been following us since we got back? Do they know we're here? Do they know where we're going? I do not believe so. But. I think she said that they knew we were here. Knew we were here in town? <laughs> yeah. She did mention Thank that. Thank you. I, you said something super quiet, and I was like, what did he say? Just go. <laughs> Sorry, actually. That's okay. She cut the really they were important here. part at the end. I should have ASMR yeah, for you. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Yeah, I got that. Is that sandal button? We know you're here. Carry on. Well, well, fuck. Are they watching us now? Are they, are they here? We've we've had eyes on this whole place every moment we've been here. No one's mm. here, and maybe not physically on location. Orbs. We gotta get those necklaces. Well, we still need to. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to go see your family. But what, why are they? Why are they watching us? Is there? I. I mean. Well, Lady Darogna is the is. Is the Empire, or was the Empire? She was one of the nine Cerberus Assembly members. <clears throat> she is gone. Are you, are you concealing the last thing that she told you, or have you told us that? Uh, I hadn't gotten to it yet. Cool. What else did she say? How do you? What were her last words to you? She said bye. She said, <laughs> All right. She said, I need oh, to go find an alley. Place then. No, no, no. Um, <clears throat> let's let's just leave here. Okay. There's more, but let's leave here. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'll leave first and scan the streets. Uh, okay. Make a perception check. 
<clears throat> yeah, bitch. Uh, 18. 18? Not bad. Looks like the expected scattering of late night event hoppers and people finishing, closing up work and business for the night. Nothing strange catches your eye. It's clear. Do we want to get a room? <laughs> yep. That's the way to do it. Let's not even leave the building. It's cheap oh. room. Yeah, 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 that's smart. <clears throat> oh, they rent rooms here? I mean, I assume they yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, not every restaurant has rooms. <clears throat> and then with a tavern? Well. This is an I don't and believe you've had a room here before. I that think would it's, change it's more location. of a social space. Yeah. Okay. There is a place that you've rented here before that's on the, towards the uh, the mud top ward. Uh, yeah, let's do that. We okay. also go get rooms back at the Soul, but it might be good to separate our location right now. I think now. right now, yeah. I think so. Just go off the grid as much as we are able to. Yeah. yeah. I'll just Give drop an oops stand. stone in the hall before we leave. <laughs> yes! So, yes! Paying for a room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Excuse where me. Where we are. <laughs> Fiona Fancy Pants had some burritos. You see this, this, these two gentlemen who were kind of eyeing you for a lot of the dancing, who've been kind of hovering, sort of that dance hovering, looking for a way to kind of get in there. As soon as you turn around and <laughs> drop the stone, kind of stop and go. I wink at them. <laughs> <laughs> I just left there confused and like. What is love? It's in my nose. <laughs> oh God! I can taste it. <laughs> uh, are you going to the previous place you rented, or are you looking for another new establishment? Or uh, let's just find one in this area. If that's okay. the one we went to. We rented before it was closed. Is by. here close yeah. by? Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, you guys went in to find some place that was a little bit cheaper and off the off the ah. path in the mud top ward last time. Let's the let's do that. Let's go yeah, we'll go to the same idea. place. Beth, <laughs> what does Man. your site do, and how long does it last? It, it's forever and always. Oh. I can see things that are invisible. I can see, well, let me, I'll check. Creatures, I believe. Line sense. Uh, if I can hear, I can hear the location of any hidden or invisible creature within 10 feet of me. So I got to go around listening for breath, basically. Got it. Not oh, a mystical okay, but you don't orb. see. I don't see. No. I just can hear if there's some living thing She's near me. me. As we're yeah. as we're moving, I'll sl- slip into an alley, summon the sword very quickly, and cast see invisibility for the next hour, just in case okay. we're being tailed physically. I'm You've not, got it. I'm Easy enough to do. My form. And and I'm, I wanted to say earlier, as everyone's leaving, I will be the last person out to see if just any eyes trailed after Caleb or Vess as they left. Perception check. Okay. 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 I think I know my uh, fifteen. Fifteen. It's fine. Nothing. Nothing peaks your radar of intrigue or worry. Okay. A short time, you find your way back to the mud top ward. You find a small hole in the place. It's 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 less of like a, a major inn and more like a, a partially attached to stables, three table eating room, and a total of four rooms available, of which one is currently occupied. The others are available. It smells largely of hay and slop and kind of like dried dried grain that's gotten a little moldy. Uh, not the cool. worst, but definitely has more of an earthy atmosphere to it, but dirt cheap. <laughs> each each room is Perfect. this one. Uh, it's like one silver piece a night per room. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take you want care to of it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I'll take care of it, guys. <laughs> uh, before we head in, uh, the structure, uh, orbs, rooftops, streets, any invisible forms, spheres, anything like that. Okay. Make your perception check. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Nothing catching your attention. You feel feel pretty solid. You're not seeing anything. Of that sort. Okay. Okay. In we go. Do you just get one room? Uh, get uh, yeah. just the one room. The you heard the lady. <laughs> one room, please. <laughs> Easy enough done. One silver for the night. Chamber is prepared. I'll take care of the payment. It's small but functional for your purposes. Okay. 
All right, so uh, once we're in, let's not even waste any time. You ready to go? No, but let's do it. <laughs> do you have uh, any kind of keepsake from home? We're just going to leave. Don't we have things to pick Come. up? Shopping? Don't you want to talk to her again tomorrow? Yeah, let's is she going to give us stuff? We don't know. So we're going to go and come back? Well, we don't have a lot of time. Yeah. So the question is, do we wait a day here in town? We could. At least to see what she says in the morning? I think it might be worth it. We could go, that's true. Your call. I feel confident that home is home right now. I mean, I'm okay going and coming back, but we have no idea how long that's going to take. Well, well okay. Okay, boy, so many things. So many things. Well, h hang on, because you... We left in a hurry. Oh. Where, where did everything... Where, where do we stand with yeah, her? How, how are you feeling? Because I tracked her to an alley. She seems real sad. Sad? Yeah, I think she like had a little a little breakdown, a little cry sesh. Well, wouldn't you if you wanted to be with this amazing young man and couldn't be because of circumstances tearing you apart? Absolutely, I think there's that could be potentially one of a dozen reasons. Feel for her, man. She, um, she skirted the issue of taking the old man out. Wait, what? You mean what? Trent? Trent? Or Ludinus? Or... Or both. She didn't say, but I assume she meant Trent. Holy shit, Caleb. As in, she would help, or she... Is suggesting it? I yeah. She was encouraging. What? Then fucking let's do it! Yeah, that guy's the worst. What did she, what did she say? Uh, how did she phrase it? She said that she thought this was the time if we struck first. How do you feel about trap? that? Yes, it could be a trap. I mean, if he could have sent her. Yeah, if 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 they know we're around, they think that we killed Vess, and then she sends us after Trent too. Mm. You still Two got assembly your, members. Your stuff up. I do, for an hour. Uh, how's the room that we're in? <clears throat> Looking around. Don't see anything that catches your your worry. How's the scar? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, is it glowing? It's not really the scar so much as my rock hard pecs that I still throw. Ah! <laughs> Don't say pecs. Uh, Should we try that? Show, show the scar. The the <laughs> How it keeps reforming is beyond me, but that's cool. Uh, you think it matters? There's so it many ripple wall <laughs> shirts. I feel like they could just be switching between us. It couldn't hurt. I mean, what if she was... Caleb just sort of like slumps to the ground, head between his legs and sticks his, his own head into his hands. It's okay, Caleb. We'll figure this out. Can I just ask you straight out? I, I, I've been wanting to for forever. If you had Trent Ickython tied to a chair and he was powerless and it was up to you whether he lived or died, what would you want? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is, is everything wrong with this place? But we have so much to do right now. And I don't know what she's playing at. So, if the time was right, and circumstance would allow, although part of me questions is if that is, if that is some part of a game that he is playing in and of itself. But he, he's spoiled a lot of young people from, from this country. And he shouldn't be doing it anymore. I, I do have some hesitation because I don't know what will, what fills that vacuum. I don't know. Astrid? 
Ja, du. You? You. Would you consider filling that void? And what? Contradict the king? Change Seems it. like they have no problem doing it. I mean, you could, in theory, affect change from the inside. I mean, this is all conceptual, of course, but... I mean, it's possible that all, all this will get taken care of for us. Didn't you say, Bo, that the king was opposed to the assembly members right now? There's infighting going on, right? There's a lot of infighting and a lot of incongruent information being tossed around. Uh, I don't know. When have you ever found <clears throat> that the wheels of justice sort of just turn in the right direction? Yeah. And the infighting has ebbed and flowed for centuries, as long as Lutinus has been in power and before. We were not necessarily immune to it either. We were with Vess when she died. Yeah, but Vess got picked off easy, and if Trent is out of favor, it would be quite opportune. It just also looks like an amazing way to get us to be tied to the deaths of two huge servants. Absolutely. Assembly so the question is, was Astrid slumped in an alleyway crying because she misses you? <laughs> or was she slumped in an alleyway crying because she's trying to set you up? And she knows that's fucking shitty. Should I ask her? <laughs> I got a better idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we get a hold of her, she comes through, we're going to have to have one more conversation. It's a perfect opportunity for Zone of Truth. Make a room where we have to lay our cards on the table. You got any feelings know. from that god of yours? Hmm? Got any feelings from that god of yours? Ooh. Oh, I can ask. Ooh. I can ask Arty. Arty? Yeah. He's, you know, he's real good at telling when people are lying and stuff. I could ask, but it's not really where we come from. It would probably, Chester's more deity may be a little more inclined. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a few minutes and cast Commune. <coughs> all righty. As you all settle into this chamber, the, <laughs> the senses grow steadily more perturbed by the Aromas that seem to permeate the inside of this chamber, the stains across the wooden floor and the furniture tell a number of stories in parts that leave the imagination to consider where the rest of the story may have gone. Right. Um, but you complete the ritual and you watch as within the uh, central circle that you're sitting, you glance up into the ceiling of the room you're in, and Artie is up on the roof looking down at you as this kind of hood falls back, and he goes, hello, dear, what is it you wanted? And he just kind of drifts onto the ground next to you, the cloak, almost like a Batman landing. We see, or just she sees? <clears throat> just, just she sees. Oh, just me today, fun. Um, okay. So you know how Caleb was just talking to Astrid and she was like saying all these contradicting things and saying they know that we're here. Is she setting us up for a trap? <sighs> it's challenging when individuals are duplicitous by nature, at least by the teachings they've undergone. I can't straight out tell you what a person's feeling, but I can gather she's certainly an opportunist. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's an opportunist. Oh. Yeah. I really should have thought about things I was going to ask you before. Yeah. That's all right. You could ask me about how my day was. Well, hang on a second. I only get a few of these things. <laughs> hmm. Anything you guys want to ask him? What? Smacks your tip. Oh! 
<laughs> and now you all can see our tag. Fucking archery! Your nipples. What all the so cool kids raw. were doing it? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. It's the oh man. Would be a. Is the, did you say is the grove safe? Is the grove safe for now? Oh, is the grove safe for now? Could you just home? <laughs> he kind of looks up for a second, closes his eyes. Hmm. Same musty smell it always seems to carry. I don't think it's in any immediate danger. That's good to know. Good to know. How about is Trent Ikithon home, or is Trent Ikithon watching us? <gasps> or is he. Yeah. Is Trent. I should say Ordaludinus, because, like, we need to know you if You don't get two them. questions, but sure. Well, like it's, it's a one question. Yeah, sure. You don't have to specify who, that's the problem. Is someone watching us is not no, a good that's, question. No, that's a dumb Everyone's question. Watching. I want to know if... Trent. Would attacking Trent in right now be in our favor? Ooh, that's a good one. He what he said. The answer that. that could be sick, he could be would out of favor, he could be... Would fighting, would attacking Trent, Ikithong, right now, be in our favor? This very moment? I mean, you likely know not. <laughs> so now, bitch. Yes, he definitely is setting us up. Uh, How was your day? My day was fine. I'm just glad you decided to check in. I'm a little bit wary of your uh, choice and decor. I think you're worth a lot more than such oh. a chamber. I mean, it's a bit of a step down. I know it's stinky in here, but we were trying to be a secret. Well, you're doing it well. I mean, I certainly can't be seen here. Bye. So much. Yeah, you gather the the final the final answer was inconclusive, taking what you're saying literally and being right now this very moment, right now, no. But it's a hard question to answer. Yeah. I think she sees Caleb as a pawn. I don't. I, I think she's. I genuinely I don't. I think she's conflicted. I think she loves you. I think she loves you, Caleb. I don't think she loves me, Jester. It has been a very long time since. Do you I love was... her? I care for her, but it doesn't matter. If it came down to it, and Astrid asked you to do something that went against everything you stood for now, because it would help her. Would you do it? No. But then we can't trust her to do the same. I think she sees Caleb as an opportunity to better her situation. Not, not in an evil way. I, I think she sees you as someone who is capable of doing what she is afraid to. Mm -hmm. It had occurred to me, maybe, maybe we can just keep the pretense up long enough to get the favor. I. I will say that I don't like making decisions based on what we think other people are feeling, because we have no idea what's in her mind. We just got fed a bunch of bullshit by your fake god. We should make decisions based on what we want to do and what we think is right. I'm not making decisions based off of what the uh, fey gentleman said. I'm going off of what I read on her in the moment. Which was that she can't be trusted? She's ambitious. And I would not be shocked if Trent were removed, if she were to fill that place, and I don't get the sense that things would improve much. I don't really care about her or what she does or this place, or these people. All I care about is what you do and how you control your destiny. I've heard you say that you don't want to forget about your past, and that's admirable. I've heard you say that you want to go back and fix your past, which is... Fairy tale. Interesting. But I think the most concrete thing that you can do is seize control of your past. Go make of it what you wish. If this man wronged you, fix it. Fix him, get rid of him. Put, put it behind you, get closure. Burn your past. That's what you have to do for you. 
Not for her. I've weighed that very thing for many, many years, Feth. And in the past, I was not strong enough to do it, or brave enough to do it. It didn't even seem like a possibility until recent time, but now we have a lot to do that is more important than... Nothing is more important than you. If that thing comes through a hole in the ice, there could be no more empire, no more dynasty, nothing. And I don't know what's happening with this or that. I don't want to waste our time to have us fall on the top of the world. Yeah, I want him dead. He ruined my life. He took my life away from me. Then I fucking helped. But I'm not going to risk all of you right now. We need to get ready and we need to go north and finish what we started. Is that your... Is that your fear of making that decision? There are things way bigger than my personal grievances. As painful as they are. Save it for a rainy day is all I can say right now. Every day is rainy. When we save the world, we'll come back and kill Trent. And if we don't, he'll probably die anyway. Yeah. Silver linings. I don't have to be the one. I don't know. We just need something better, Caduceus. I think you're making the right choice. I think they make him a time and a place, but. Um, thank you. Your concern is appreciated, truly. Thank you. For now, if you are all right with this, we stay here tonight, like you said. We reach out to her again tomorrow, see if anything can be gleaned. And maybe some of us can have some little bit of pleasure for one night. Um, give me one second. Says Caleb, not Liam. Uh, he pulls out Kaliana's wand and sits on the ground and starts to begin the process for creating the tower here in this shitty um, sheep's quarters. All right. As he does that, I'll use the rest of the sea invisibility to make sure no one's watching him do that in this room. Perception check. <coughs> guidance. What does guidance give me? A name Additional one. D4. Additional D4. Four. <coughs> Eight. Oh, God. Wow. Thank God. Feeling pretty solid. You got this place on lockdown. <laughs> we airtight, fam. Oh. <clears throat> and with the completion of the casting, the familiar door reveals itself, the tower interior awaiting your entry. Now. I regret to inform the majority of you and myself that we will in fact be sleeping in this shithole. Beauregard, Yasha, the tower is yours. Oh, we're doing this <coughs> tonight? <clears throat> we're doing this tonight. Oh, yes. What, 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 what are we doing tonight? I push Yasha into the door. I pull <laughs> out my fla- Yasha, she's gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can do this. Is that a flower? <laughs> Jet guiding you to the door. There. I'm gonna go on a date. There Bye. <laughs> <laughs> stand, the go. door closes behind as the rest of you yeah. stand there in the rather cramped, unpleasant but functional quarters for your night's rest at the behest of Caleb. <laughs> Okay. No. Let me put the alarm spell on the shitty door. Yeah, 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 please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going to do this tomorrow night. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, no. And we're going to take a break. <laughs> we're, we're, past, we're past we're past break time. Yeah, went that went yes. a little long. Yeah. My apologies. Oh, um, 45 more minutes to think about things. Fuck. We'll come back here in a few minutes to see what the the the, the evening in the tower holds in store for uh, for these these two members of the Mighty Nine. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. Too much attention on me. Critter hug is that lighthouse, that beacon of of just warm, good, fuzzy feelings. That even when every Wednesday is a historical event, we still have this awesome platform and space to just dedicate to pure, wholesome, good love and send out those vibes to people who really deserve it. And I feel like that's that's my purpose on this planet is to just make sure that people who need love get love. You I know? like that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm happy to be right beside you getting on your coattails. Uh, no, I'm on your, sir. If if any, we're on to co-coattails. Is that? There you go. Co -co -tails? Like, co co coattails. I want co I want co co coattails. Co -co 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 delicious. Coattails. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I'm wearing half of a sleeve and then sitting on your coattail and then you're wearing the other half of the sleeve and then sitting on my coattail. There you, you know, go. We're probably gonna trip and fall a lot, it's a but you know. Coat Ouroboros, just kind of. <laughs> I was thinking coat human centipede, but that's where mine was going. Well, I know, I'm sorry. Wow! Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here. Let's see what's up in the Critical Role shop. Ooh, look at this. Look at the details. Ooh. Roll an investigation if you want. It's basically perfect. I mean, the Traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. Go ahead, darling. Treat yourself. The cuteness! It's overpowering! It's so cute, I can't handle it. So click on over to the Critical Role shop. <laughs> Don't worry, there's a few more minutes in the break. You still got time. I'm a fan of hot air balloon rides above the Venetian countryside. I'm a fan of Momlin. She's always got my back. I'm a fan of wine older than Taliesin. I'm a fan of Twitch subscriptions. I'm a fan of emotes by Arsqueef. They're neat. I'm a fan of a wife so cool. People forget I exist. 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 Skin is a mask.
and welcome back. <laughs> so, as we left off, <laughs> the door slams shut behind Beauregard as the both of you stand in the bottom of Caleb's nine-sided tower, freshly renovated. Caleb, take it away. Yeah, so this is Caleb's tower, so the narration will sound a little like Caleb. Uh, but with the, very white music playing in the That's right, well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Mighty Nine. Um, so you are in the uh, entryway where you have been several times. It is a very tall, uh, nine-sided Wait, chamber. Wait, is this narrated? <laughs> <laughs> Like an airport? Yes, from over here. <laughs> no, no, I it's not. I sort of put in some requests to Caleb. I don't know how any of this is going to turn out. Art is subjective to interpretation, right? I love art, so yeah. this is perfect. This will be like a weird gallery of what I wanted and what we got. Okay. Yeah. I'm in. Okay. Do you. Will you go on a date with me? I thought this was gonna happen earlier. I'm kind of fast-tracking things now. I, yes, I would love to go on a date with you. I was thinking this was going to happen later as well, so yeah. I'm not as prepared. Me neither. I didn't take a shower. I have really bad BO. I like BO. I, it's great. <laughs> so, I'm Drahasian. <laughs> I can't smell. Um, I'm in. Okay. I, wow. Uh, this feels weird that they're all sleeping out there and we're yeah, we, having a great time, but fuck it. I kind of thought this was going to happen in like Nicodronus when like Veth was going to be with her husband and like Jester and Ford would go bone somewhere. I don't know. I just, I thought we would, it wouldn't be like a thing. Here you go, you're in and everybody's outside. Uh huh. But, um, listen, I feel like it, it, it feels like. The world is ending uh, all the time, so we might yeah. as well. Yeah. <sighs> Cheers to that. Uh, let me Cheers. just get ready. Let me real quick, me and I put on it. I put on my bow tie. Okay. It's just I just do a quick comb with my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a bell go tingling, 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 and right down at your feet is Frumpkin, the cat. And he has uh, a little silver bell that you've seen Caleb use uh, with his spell casting before, tied with a ribbon to his tail. And he just looks up at you and turns and begins to go up the spiral stairs up to the platform uh, that uh, you depart from to reach the upper regions of the tower. I think we should follow the hospitality staff. Oh, yes, uh, sir, lead the way. Please, good Frumpkin. When you uh, crest the top, there is a, an easel with a, just a little note on it that says Willkommen. And there are. Uh, it's an easel? So Airbnb. Sparse, um, not many, but black and blue uh, flower petals just sort of floating, rotating slowly in the column in the center of this chamber that uh, is used for floating up to higher regions. I can't uh, tell if I'm hot or cold. Hang on. Frumpkin actually starts floating up in front of you, hit the bell going ding, ding, ding. I'm cold, but I'm sweating. Yeah, me too. And okay. as he rises above you, the iris opens. And uh, slightly different than what you've seen before, the chamber above is completely dark, and Frumpkin disappears into it. Ding, ding, ding. Wow. Uh, Shall we? <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were giving me something new on my hand. I, it's been a minute. <laughs> Uh, wait, but mm, I grab the petals, oh. a couple of the petals, and I I put them in my, my book really quickly. I just want to save these. Um, okay. Uh, here's my hand. Okay. <laughs> up, up. <laughs> All okay, right, so as the two of you uh, slowly, hand-in-hand, uh, hand float up <laughs> through the open iris into the uh, great hall above, you ascend into darkness, and you see the uh, iris, the brass iris, close beneath you, so you're in total darkness, and you feel your feet very gently just sort of land back down on the floor, on this iris, and you're alone together, feeling each other's hands in the dark, and you see, uh, after a brief moment, a runway, of amber-colored 
miniature long-haired dachshunds come aglow in the dark like a runway, mm -hmm. leading towards, uh, in a path towards one wall in this nine-sided chamber. And Frumpkin, you see in this dim light, just walking forward and the tail going ding, 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 ding. What are these most glorious creatures? These are wiener dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a wiener red carpet, but I'm trying to interpret what Caleb meant. Holy shit. Yes. I are they cute? I reach down and I give some scritches. Mm -hmm. And I just keep scritching as we walk. <laughs> and I'm going to pick exactly one up. What and I was hoping for. <sighs> as you make your way down uh, between these two rows of dachshunds, uh, you see two uh, of Caleb's globules slowly fade up in warm light when you draw close to one of the doors, and Frumpkin turns around, and there is a little note hanging around his neck, and it says, Eins. Uh, and you see two uh, little amber doxies pulling blue velvet sashes that are attached to the handles of double doors, because remember, there are nine sets of double doors in this chamber. Okay. And the doxies on the ground pull apart the doors. And as they do, you see what looks almost like a rolling stage of sorts coming gently sliding out of the closet space, but it has sections that are folded up and, and collapsed in weird, strange ways. And as it expands out of the closet, it begins to open up, almost like a clockwork construction or even a pop-up book. Uh, tables and chairs fold out and lock into place uh, in various ways, and you know now are looking at a trio of tavern tables. The last thing to slide into place are a familiar-looking bar, which brings in the rear, and a hanging sign that slides out, extending over, it drops, and you see a sign similar to the one you remember long ago that read, The Nestled Nook. Now, I should point out the colors of this wooden recreation are just a little more vibrant, a little more colorful than you remember, but it is unmistakably a magical fold-out recreation of the nook. One of Caleb's globules now glow intimately over each of the three tables. You notice three bottles of Lionette vintage sitting on the bar alongside some glasses, but also you hear the turn of wheels as a, a little amber doxy pulls what looks like a small sleigh on rollers out of a hole in the back of the closet uh, along a track that is extended out from that hole to okay. the bar, and the doxy, like a little Santa, pulls a little sled out, and there are two crystal glasses on it full of uh, a, a dark amber liquid, and there's a little folded note in front of the cocktails in Widowgast, <coughs> Widowgast script that says, Dark and Stormy. A nod oh. to our goth barbarian, you surmise. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. This I, is... You know, you go, go first. Go. No, you. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. This is lovely. I... <laughs> <laughs> he, re he really outdid himself. Uh, this is just top one. This is just stop one. I told Caleb, since I wanted to start over, I wanted to start over. So my request was a little bit of a walkthrough of where we've been and some of our favorite hiding spots. And felt it was only appropriate to start at the nestled nook in. So these are just a little bit of, uh, you know, pre-gaming cocktails, so don't go too crazy. I chug. <laughs> <laughs> the large chamber is shrouded in darkness. The only thing lit up is this little tavern corner, all on its own, in the void. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, I like your bow tie. Thank you. Veth helped me pick that out. <sighs> Boy. I. 
I got something today to use for this moment, but... It's not that divination cream, is it? Because that might be toxic. It is. Oh! But I think it smells weird. And I think I, 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 oh. I've been trying to keep my distance from you when I found out that he was listening and they were watching, but I just, I've had a lot of people in my head and I don't want to give them you. So. Are you talking about Lucian? Yeah. And I just, I, I don't want them to see that I, that I fuck. I mean, I, that. that's not what I, that sounded weird. I, 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 I don't want them to know that I care about you because I don't know if they're going to use that in some way, you know? Yeah. But... <sighs> fuck it, I guess, you know? I, I really hope you don't... <sighs> I, I mean, clearly you do, but... You shouldn't harbor any guilt about any of our previous encounters in which you clearly weren't yourself. It's, it's not that I'm trying to compare, and I, I know you've been through a lot, but I hope you know I trust you. And I don't feel like I have any right to say that what we're going into is any different because I don't know. I don't know Lucian's capabilities separate from Oban or anybody else. Um, but that, that wasn't you and you shouldn't judge yourself as if it was. I try not to. I think it's, it's getting easier, but um, I still am haunted every night with the look on your face when I almost killed you. <laughs> But I still think of the look on your face when I bruise the fuck out of your eye, punching the shit out of you, um, <laughs> trying to get you to snap out of it. They're not pleasant memories, Yasha. It's funny, we don't have uh, a lot of pleasant memories. <laughs> It seems, but we've all come together and tried to make some. Here's to making some more tonight. Absolutely. Last time we were here in the nestled nook, Lucian was still Molly. God, I miss him so bad. I, I don't think I ever got the story of how the two of you met, but let's save that for location number two. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Frumpkin! There's a little note hanging under his uh, chin, and it says, Svai, 
And uh, time to number two. What? Oh, that's two. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the entire room goes dark again, and you sit in darkness for a moment, and little amber doxies boom, 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 lead away from the uh, tavern where you are. You surmise back towards the center of the room, and Frumpkin just strolls along, inviting you behind him. Uh, as you make your way behind the cat, uh, you start to hear the sound of little rollers again, and um, globules floating closer to the ceiling start to still dim, but light up, and you see those uh, tracks like aqueducts that run all around the walls that they normally cats uh, travel through, uh, have little doxies uh, running all along them, and uh, you see a curtain or drape being pulled all around the entire room, different pieces being stretched out until you see um, black and blue wildflowers painted on this backdrop surrounding you all around the room. And the curtain undulates gently, giving the uh, effect of flowers blowing in the wind, and as you reach the center of the room and you hear just a little more tinkle of the bell, you see a picnic blanket sitting in the center, and there is a little uh, basket with a black and blue checkered cloth in it, and there are tacos with uh, uh, fish and insects, some of them yeah. still moving. Uh, Which is my favorite. There is another basket with several more bottles of Lionette wine. Um, and as you reach the picnic blanket and sit down, um, you see a few doxies running in different directions across the room, and long green silks get pulled across the entire floor, and those undulate as well. And as you sit there, it's art and pageantry, but it does create the effect of sitting in a field of wildflowers, and the globules of light are dim, and it feels like the early part of evening. I, this is so beautiful. It's like living in a painting. Yeah. <laughs> Tacos? My favorite. <laughs> yes. I furl out the blanket, lay it down, crack up a bottle of wine. Oh, yes, I'm very uh, excited to try. This is a good year. My father, oof, he had a rough time this year. A lot of barrels wasted due to a giant flood that came into the vineyard. So only the ones that were on the top most shelf were the ones that were able to survive. So. So that's limited. Very few bottles of this. I mean, I mean, seems like a magical creation. We'll see how it does. I'm in. Pour two glasses. So how did you and Molly meet? Well, when I was going through the uh, wastes of Jorhas, when I was um, not quite myself for weeks or maybe a month, however long it was, I don't know. Um, when I finally came to, I um, He was the first person that I saw. Um, and he was so beautiful. I, I had been in just, there was no color, there was no life, there was no Anything out there in the in in the way St. Jorhas, and then when I saw him, ah, he was a kindred spirit, <laughs> and 
he introduced me to everybody in the circus and they took me in and him and I were the best of friends and I was weird and he was weird. We all were weird. <laughs> and he just completely accepted me for who I was and he didn't ask any questions. But he changed my life in a very big way. But that's how we met. It was the first person I saw in, I don't know, uh, however long I was. I mean, obviously not including Oban and whatever happened with that during that time, but. <sighs> That's how we met. I hope you feel like we've been your new circus. Accepted by all of us weirdos. Yeah. I... Is it not the same? It is... better. In what way? There's a a closeness that we all have that I haven't experienced with a, a group of people like this before. I care about everyone so deeply and I feel that love back. And I loved everyone in the circus. They were all so full of life and, you know. But everyone in our group is family. And that's... something I, I didn't ever quite have. I'll never forget... <laughs> seeing you for the first time at the circus and the crazy... I think I carried you? You did. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, Why? Why did I carry you? Because you were trying to confis confiscate everyone's weapons and I didn't want you to take my staff, so so I pretended that I was injured and and Jester was like, "Oh, yeah, she's she's got a, a hurt leg." Oh, got so a lamp. I was trying to help you in and it was I, super yeah, that's dumb. right. She saw through my bullshit real quick. I I didn't. I thought you were hurt, I think. You did didn't? not. There was no way. I I mean, if you want to, like, make me feel good now, feel, that's <laughs> I'll take it. I may have been distracted with things, but I... I remember when I saw all of you, it was... Boy, that day changed everything. It's interesting you talking about Molly being this burst of color in your monochromatic life because part of the reason you stood out like a sore thumb is because you were this black and white and gray monochromatic vision amongst this fairy tale of color. You hear a squeaky wheel in the distance. <laughs> And out of the darkness, at one single little doxy comes with one of those little sleds behind him, and there is a little stack of um, black moss cupcakes on it, and he just stops in front of Yasha and just looks up. There they are, yes! <gasps> black moss cupcakes! Oh my god! Yeah? This is just the greatest hit. Had to, you know, all Ooh. the greatest hits. Squitchies! Isn't, are they the best? Oh, I just love them. Oh, these so much buddies. <laughs> I know you like dogs. Oh, I just love them. I just can't get enough. I just, oof. Caleb got a little bugged out about me turning the cats into dogs. Really? I know. Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense. She would add them to the mix. I love cats, but <gasps> dogs. Ugh. 
I just like a cats them. and dogs living together in harmony. That's, yes, that's. Traitors. We should pitch that to him. Traitors, both. I think so. <laughs> Cheers to Black Moss Cupcakes, I guess. Mm. So how are you doing? <laughs> I know that's kind of a loaded question, but... I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. Yeah. Hearing the news from Udala yesterday about how they're prosecuting the Cobalt Soul members that were responsible for my uh, being there. I don't know. It gave me a, a resolve and a sense of purpose and assurance that I didn't know I was looking for. Hmm. Felt like it kind of cleared away any final reservations I had with the reserve and... I mean, I'm, I'm still my regular skeptic self, but... It was good to hear that not all of bureaucracy will stand for that type of bullshit. Yeah. Hey. I just want you to know, just before we continue this, whatever this night is, that I, I have no expectations, and at the end of all of this, if it just, you have the reassurance of knowing that I'm somebody that you can come and talk to if you need to, and that's, that's enough for me. Thank you for saying that. I. I feel the same way. But at the same time, I, things really changed for me when we went to Komorda. And I saw you with your family and I got a glimpse into a, how your world was when you were growing up, and I... Uh, I fell in love with you in Komorda. I... I look at the dachshunds behind me. I just, <laughs> that just came out so fast and I didn't know that was gonna come out right then. Um, <laughs> I say that, I, I don't, I, I, I don't, who? I don't have expectations either, but I really care about you and I just, I hope, if anything, that you know I'm, I'm so proud of the person that you've become. Just seeing where you started and where you are now, and you have completely done that on your own. And I just, I'm, you blow me away. Feelings mutual. You could have left at any time. You kept coming back to this group. It 
Why? <sighs> you guys are the only family that I have. And I think, um... I am so scared. When I was in Comorta, that fear of losing this family, I almost sabotaged it. Just so that I wouldn't have to deal with the angst and the anguish of wondering if and when and how this family will fall apart. Like ripping off a band-aid that was never there. Or I guess over a wound that was never there. Just tried to rip it off for the pain and nothing else. Yeah. That's relatable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm so scared to lose everyone. I think that's why I kept showing up. Also trying to kill everybody, so that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I just... I don't want to lose anyone. Because I... I don't know if I could survive that again. I feel like uh, people keep asking me, like, what's your purpose? You know, when Lucian asked me that, and I'm like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's just... to protect. To try to keep everybody safe and alive. That's why you're my favorite. <laughs> Who, me? Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I want to kiss you so bad. I want to kiss you so bad. Okay. I was about to ask you. I jump all over. I kiss her. <laughs> there it is. Just like there cupcakes are, are on the side of the wall. <laughs> Make it a mess. Seven areas left untouched. Yeah, I'm, no, uh, floofs. Floofs, get away. Wait, j okay, go, go, You're, shoot, uh, Graham. No, get, get, get. Oh, where are the dogs? I forgot the dogs. Oh, get in your face. But yeah. uh, Yasha, as you guys entangle yourselves and roll over the place, you hear a little jingle and look over and Frumpkin is there staring at you with a very oh. blank stare on his face. I smack I, Caleb on the back. You're not here. <laughs> I'm not controlling this. This was set going. <laughs> you see another little placard hanging under Frumpkin's face, and it says dry, which you know very well by now from hanging out with Caleb is the Zemnian word for three. But then the card falls away, and it says the common word, die. And all the globules of light blaze as bright as they can, and the flowery curtain all around the room oh, yeah. drops and spills down to the floor, and all of the nine double doors in this entire room are open and filled with what look like amber, leather-clad, uh, humanoid figures with Doberman pincer heads. Yes, Beauregard, these are the ninjas you requested. Yes! <laughs> I need you both roll Best initiative. <laughs> It's on the list, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Shit, it's so bad. Okay. Such a bad roll. Oh, I get advantage. It's, it's the fucking same. I rolled two nines, which is appropriate. Nine. So, plus three. It's 12. 12? 16. 16, already. So we have Boas up first, <laughs> then the, the Dobermans. <laughs> And Yasha. Bo, what are you gonna do? All nine of them are now rushing in from all sides. So I'm kind of like on top of Yasha, right? Because we were in like the middle of this like heated makeout. So as I'm like kind of straddling her, I'm like, sorry, babe. I've gotta handle these ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> and without like really moving much, I just kind of like yes. cartwheel off of her into a standing position, oh. and I take out my staff, and I do like a really extra flourish for no real reason, and then I go after the ninjas. 
Go for it. Blue myself. Go for it. You're you're attacking. Just like, the... But it's like really like Jedi like. Oh yeah. I'm kind of yeah. I'm like right. episode three flourish. Yes, but yeah, like putting on um, <laughs> um <laughs> nonsensically. Yeah. Full on episode three flourish. Nonsensical. None of this would hit. Go for it. But first one's coming at you right now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, so scary. Oh, oh god. That is a <laughs> and I rolled like shit. For me, which is funny. 17? 17 still hits. All right. <laughs> Next <Cobra> one. <laughs> That's a natural 17 for a total of 29. All right. Go ahead. Uh, don't even worry about damage. <laughs> a pop. The first one runs to you. Whack! You hit the first one that comes at you as you hit it. Poof, it explodes in a spray of. Would be uh, uh-huh. black and blue glittering illusory dust <laughs> off that yes. side. And I Second just one. Turn my hair in the glitter. So I kind of look at Yasha and I go for the second one. Whoosh! Like a fake faint. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the staff goes through the second one without even looking. That one just gets bisected. You watch as it poof, ksh, scatters into more glitter dust around wow. you. I take some of the glitter dust and I just like smear it across my face. <laughs> That's gonna be there for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Herpes in the oh no. world. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's in my The remaining seven come rushing in. A <laughs> oh, pop pop! Flurry of blows! Go for it. <laughs> Before their turn comes. For those oh, key points. Hey, okay, yeah, all, all, all the key all points. Going to bed. In okay. theory? Okay. Um that is a uh, 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 sorry twenty total. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> and a fifteen total. Fifteen also hits. Okay, um, so I am going to take my staff and I do like a spin and I toss it in the air and I go a pop pop and then I catch it. <laughs> they both just yeah. explode into glitter dust. Yes. You catch the staff mid it. With Babe, that. I need might need help with these niches. <laughs> Babe. 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 Babe, I got a ninja problem. <laughs> uh, let me uh, help you exterminate. As you uh, begin to stand up to join her, the other five come rushing in. Oh no. Two against you. It's a 14 hit. Oh, uh, it misses. Woof, overhead. Oh, oh no! Strong. She's too strong! <sighs> a 23, does that hit? That does hit! Oh no! You take Babe, one, one point of bludgeoning damage as one <laughs> leaps, a flying kick that hits you and like kind of like just pushes your head a little bit before it kicks off. <laughs> yes, it works. Yes. Cool. They're barely unseen servants. Yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah. They are <laughs> vaguely there. <laughs> the other three rush towards you. One goes to try and grapple you from behind to hold you. Uh, make a an athletics check for me. Okay. Um, that. Oh, that's a nineteen plus nine, so twenty-eight. It's like being held by a by like a warm breeze. It's holding on, like, <laughs> and you're here, but you're just like, it's it's immaterial. The other two come towards you to just unload on you with a series of blows. Uh, 15. It doesn't hit. 12. No, it doesn't hit. Natural one. <laughs> and the last one will be a 14. They are coming at you, but you are just too powerful as these hits just kind of like tissue paper off of you, and they're just like barking and growling. You feel awesome. You feel unstoppable. It's your turn. What are you doing? Yeah, okay. This is what little kids do. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so they if they're still, <laughs> if they're they're grappling there's, around there's me, there's one grabbing you, and there's two like to the front and sides of you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Not actually grappling you. I, holding on to you. <laughs> I am going to go into a rage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and in that rage, I'm going to look over at. <laughs> I'm going to look over at Bo. I'm going to bamf out the wings. Yes. Yeah. And then Get I'm going to take uh, my my new sword. Oh yeah. And new I'm sword? just going to just start flying around and then just like swing. Go for it, since it is not attuned to you. Yeah, it's. It, yeah, you're just swinging a yeah. basic sword. I'm swinging a basic yeah. sword. Swing but go ahead and roll for an attack. Okay, do, am I adding anything? You're adding your strength modifier oh, yeah. to strength it. Strength modifier, okay. 
And your and your proficiency modifier, because you are still proficient with a great sword. So it would be your proficiency plus strength. Okay, so that would be oh wow, okay, so uh twenty-six. That definitely hits. Yeah. So <laughs> as you pull it, the wings outward, feathers scatter out and like mix with the glitter that's still kind of in the air and drifting past. You take the sword and whoosh, and as you strike through, it like just passes through and it stands there. And just explodes <laughs> in the glitter as you spin around for the second strike. Go ahead and roll. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Um, oh, wow. Okay, why am I rolling so well right now? Um, and, okay, so 15, uh, 20, uh, 30 total. Yeah. yeah. The other one sees the blade coming and goes, and jumps in the air to try and kick towards your head. And as you do, you sweep the blade upward, and you watch it go, into another shower of black and blue dust sparkling in the air. There is currently two left that are engaged with Beauregard. Okay. Um, I'm going to go over there <laughs> and. <laughs> I'm going to fly over to her. I'm going to grab her and pull her in oh. and Queen. kiss her. Yes. And then flick the other two. Awesome. I'll tell you, I'll give you a free action on that one. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as they're just assailing, well, we'll say for the purposes of this, you're just giving into this. We'll say you're just, you're you're letting this happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's your turn. Sentinel. As as you're holding her in there, they're both oh. battering at you and, and oh. having no impact. As you, poof, poof, they both just detonate. As the glitter passes and you're left there standing, holding her as you pull back. This Make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, we oh. fucking do. <laughs> do we? Do we have more stops? <sighs> ding a ling a ling a ling. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, cat, uh. The cat is there. There is a little placard. It says fear on it. I look at it. Three adjacent closets are opened by more dachshunds, oh, and a billowing cloud of steam spills out of the, the center door of these three, bringing with it the scent of herbs and soap. Uh, these three new stages begin to slide out and unfold, similarly to the tavern across the hall from you. The center stage unfolds and reveals a fairly large, polished stone tub filled with water that is steaming hot, just like this date. A few benches <laughs> surround it. As well as an array of greenery displayed in uh, planters about the water, uh, there's a sign hanging off the lip of the stage, and it bears the familiar words, Steam's Respite. And it does, in fact, look like a stylized version of the bathhouse you visited in Zadash. The stages on the left and right are a touch more elaborate, and you hear gears clanking and turning inside uh, the folded contraptions. Uh, extending up and uh, broadening out, and you watch as two platforms begin to erect themselves before your eyes. Ladders fall down, and lengths of highly polished brass metal begin to extend out in segments until you see two slightly varied brass water slides <laughs> that lead to the stone pool of water before you. One slide comes down in a curve to the very edge of the tub, uh, the other one is just a short little dip into space, which leads for a 10-foot drop into the water. They're a little bit different. Finally, underneath each of these two platforms, Our surrounded- Parrot samurai. Surrounded, <laughs> <laughs> surrounded by more greenery that is sliding into place as I speak, there are two large apex predator cats. Bear with me here. A pair of massive, Amber lionesses Ooh. sit proudly amongst fragrant eucalyptus leaves, and beside each of them, a straw mat rests. On one platform, there is also another easel from Caleb with a short note. Dear Beauregard, please forgive my deviating from your explicit instructions, but as a fan of rule breaking, I think you will likely permit the transgression. Besides, what better gift could I offer the lionette? Please enjoy your massage and soak. See you tomorrow at breakfast. CW. 
What, 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 what happens in here? Do we fight? We don't fight. They rub. <laughs> yes. Our backs. For a massage, it's a massage. He got us a massage. Yes. I've missed massages so much. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Well. Tower's ours. Claim the rest of the night with me? Absolutely. I strip naked, go up to one of the, the water slides, go down into the hot tub. It's hot. Huh? <laughs> I uh. strip naked, fly up to the top of the water slide. <laughs> go, let's go. Come on. Camp back tradition. In. I know I can't take them out twice, but. Uh, they haven't faded yet. They haven't faded, okay, good. Time, um, time gets weird here for the time being, because why the fuck not? And then I, I'll, I'll um, go down the slide sideways like this. <laughs> <laughs> Flying through the air? Yes. <laughs> and then I just cuddle up into her, wrap my arms around her. Give her another big kiss. The whole room darkens as the few globules that are here dim, 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 and you once again earn a little small intimate pocket of light in this giant chamber, and then you start to see illusory fireworks oh. in the dark God. above you. And as you look at each other's faces in this hot tub, you see those lights reflected on each other's beautiful faces, reds and blues. And greens. Hey. Hey. I love you too. That's the best thing I've ever heard. Just lay my head on your shoulder. Enjoy the show. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, but some point. I'm very curious about the mirror being in your bedroom. The mirror. Yes, 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 the mirror in your bedroom. Bed is made whenever you're ready. We'll enjoy the show first. Okay. We enjoy the show. Alright. That's <laughs> update night. That's a steam best date ever. ever. Yeah, yeah, steam, steam. Steam fills steam. the camera. As the fireworks oof, doof, 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 fade off. And we'll go ahead and finish tonight's episode. Right? Mm. Oh. Oh. oh! The rest of the group sits outside. It smells like farts out oh. here. <laughs> I just, as, as we fall asleep, I just. Slap forward on the tit. Oh. <laughs> I start to cry just a little. <laughs> it was so sensitive now. I will, I will just throw in one last little detail because there was a chance you were going to go to your rooms. Yeah. And eventually you will, and eventually you're going to fuck. But yeah. um, I want to know everything. When you enter into the sitting room, not you, Yasha, but you, Beauregard, with your passive perception. Notice a very slight change to the stained glass window above the fireplace, which is a picture of the Mighty Nine, their yeah. backs, staring out at a field uh, in in the Empire. And the only change, it's very minimal, is the Yasha and Bo's hands are oh, linked yeah. together. Come on. Uh, scene. <laughs> well, my good friend. My good friend. <laughs> An, e an oh. evening to take a moment to appreciate the reason you fight and the things worth protecting with the dangers ahead. Mm. To take a moment of respite, well earned, of connection, well needed, and to take stock in what's important. Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you next week. We love you very much. Aww. And is it Thursday yet? No. Good night. Yeah, y'all hooked up! Yay! <laughs> <laughs>